and hello everyone! I'm Silver and I will be running Dragon Quest XI, uh, trending uh, category. Uh, and I have uh, with me uh, online Dawi as a commentator. Hello, hello. So let's get started, I guess. This is a pretty long run. We have a lot of time to explain everything about the, the run. So the time starts. Uh... Okay, so I'm going to do the countdown. Five, four, three, two, one, go! And I'm going to name the hero ESA because there's no no bid war, I think, about that. Nobody reached it, unless unless we missed something. But else there is two um, two incen incentives. One is already reached, uh, so we're going to do the ultimate puff puff uh, during the run. And then uh, the ultimate puff puff, you said? Yeah, I'm going to do it. Oh, okay, interesting. So I have a few settings to do because I have no. Oh. Okay, so at all speed, camera controls, and equip offensive. So nice, nice. And so there's another incentive which will be fight the black dragon. We'll explain a bit later. We all see it. So, the game starts with the casual tutorial, three slimes. They have um, 7 HP each, so everything kills unless we do a low roll of 6 damage. Dumb, yeah, Sandy never kills them, only does 6 or bucks. Yeah, Sandy will be uh, the first host of this, uh, of this game. Uh, the most predictable host, because he's always doing the same thing, which is first attacking and then barking at an enemy, which result of a uh, turn loss for one enemy. And he repeats this cycle forever. I love Sandy, compared to every single other, yeah. other one. Yeah, we will see uh, during the run other hosts and they are kind of some kind of dumb and predictable. We can get trolled easily by thinking they will heal us or attack the right enemy, but no, they don't. So first we head yeah. to the cobblestone tower. Uh, this is like... Yeah, could you explain a bit the, the story though? Uh, so this is basic tutorial. tutorial level, I guess. Got a couple boss fights, the slimes, easy. And then we've got these smugs with a very high evasion rate. I think either 60 or 40 percent, I always forget. So we're gonna miss a lot. But they can't dodge. Oh my god. Well, they can't dodge a crit. Yeah, so that's, that's a, optimal. The only way to one shot it is to crit. Marathon Usually you're guess. going for like. That's insane. That's that's and a good hit eight. Oh my god. Okay. So, it's perfect. Okay. so actually, if I add splits, that would have been a gold. <laughs> that's. I've, n I've done 600 times and I've never got perfect ones like that. Press on the first hit, and then a three hit. Yeah, so damn. Is perfect. Mouth That's actually luck. unreal. Yeah, math and luck, I guess. That's less than like one tenth of a percentage chance. Yeah. Because I think your crit rate's one or two percent at this point. Yeah. The very beginning, it's nice. I got the little jump. Oh, nice. Saves a few, a few seconds. Three seconds, yeah. I skip one uh, platform climbing by doing this jump. So let's uh, talk about the first donation, I guess. We have a bit of time. Mage donated $100. Hades is best game. Thanks a lot. That's a huge donation. So after climbing the cobblestone torn, we are considered as an adult, that's okay. all it yeah. works in the village. And the uh, hero uh, discovered his first powers of the luminary. And so after yeah, a few so we've got, with a super powered man. Yeah, yeah, can, you can explain, go. <laughs> with super powered hero man, the luminary, we uh, abandoned at birth, skip the cutscene because it's slow. Ooh. So, um, you know, we know that, but you guys don't know anything. 
And so we skip that cutscene, go forward with Superpower Man, and uh, now we realize it. You know, really early in the game. Most of the time in these games, you don't realize you're the hero of the world until halfway through. But uh, we know from the get-go. Which is, uh, results in some interesting things about to happen in, when we go to the castle. Yeah, so now we have to head to uh, Heliodor, meet the king, to see what our destiny is. So we get the horse, which is the fastest, the fastest way to travel for now. And I'm going to smash a few monsters on my way. Each monster smashed like that gives one XP. Only one, but it will matter. It can matter, I mean, because sometimes after um, an XP grind, sometimes you have like two or three XP missing. And yeah. And you really wish you just went out of your way to run over the cruel cumber. Exactly. So on my way, I'm getting a seed of life. This game, the um, stats given by the seeds are always the same, so seed of life gives 5 HP. And that's, that's incredibly useful when you only have 20 health. To go from 20 to 25 is uh, essential, actually. I think or else the first boss will one-shot you, almost. I also grabbed a few gold, 80. I'm going to use it for the, the shop later on. And yes, it's just Oops, now sorry. going to... I'm just going to Eliodor rushing. We don't collect a lot of materials in this in this run. It's, it's yeah, and you'll notice he's not running over these enemies now as well. Yeah, because now, they're yeah. too high level, you just get into exactly. the fight. Yeah. It depends on the level. If I'm too too low level, I can't smash the enemies. If I run into them, I will just engage a battle. And I don't think we do that. I think we've like got all the levels we need for the first boss right now, actually. Yeah, we're already level 3. That will be all at all. Yeah. We killed some slimes, killed some clouds, ended the uh, environmental crisis of the smog, and now we're getting ready to do even more. So we My just head to the castle to meet the king. And instead of helping us, he's going to put us in jail. So, casual RPG moment in jail. And this is where we're going to meet our first uh, ally, first friend, Eric, who's a thief. So after 10 seconds, we are already out of the jail and going to escape, <laughs> going to escape through uh, the sewers. This is actually one of the more interesting parts of good movement in the run because you can almost nearly do it perfectly. And your camera placement matters a lot when the NPCs start showing up. Because you can manipulate how your camera is how NPCs spawn, where they do, and this is uh, on how they move as well. And you'll see an example coming up in a second. And it's really important, otherwise we'll always get into an encounter here, unless you do it correctly. Yeah, we have to dodge a few guards looking for us. What? But yeah, uh, I don't keep it perfectly straight, I think. I did. It's unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's not supposed to happen, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I didn't move the camera towards him, so I was supposed to to, to flee. To, I think it was flee. slightly to the left. I think it was... Yeah, maybe a bit on the left. Well, it's fine, but my cycle is ruined, so... Yeah, so now we just have to wait <sighs> till this guy turns back. 
I'm not here. You don't see me, right? <laughs> yeah, that's... yeah, usually we just keep the camera perfectly straight. You can just run around the corner and he he's right in your face, but he won't see you. Yeah. Like that one as well, it's the same thing. That's yeah, already a huge That's chance. unfortunate. At least I didn't die. <laughs> Cause if you die, it's not too bad, is it? You just go back at the beginning of the sewers. So, yeah. Oh, the whole sewers? Oh, that's pretty bad, actually. Never mind. So this is the black dragon. Oh my god, wait. Wait, there's a dragon. Yeah. In my dragon quest? No, 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 no. no. Oh, really? And so this dragon uh, yeah, is too high level for us. We have to, to flee. But later on, when we will come back to Eliodor, we have the opportunity on, to quickly. to fight him back, take our revenge, and that's the incentive. Fight uh, the Black Dragon, because it's not. Oh, so you're not gonna you're not gonna grind for 80 hours to get to no. level 25 or 30 and yeah. fight him now. I just... Because it's possible, actually, to kill it at Act 1, but yeah, you need to grind for hours, so let's not yeah. do that. It's not really uh, speedrun friendly, I guess. <laughs> you do get a cool little cutscene if you do it. And if you've ever seen a run of the, um, I guess, NG Plus sort of thing, because in this game you can go backwards in Axe and keep all your powers. But you can be level 99 and go through the game from the start, like where, you, where we are now. Um, and it's not that much faster to be honest, but every single boss is free. Yeah. And there's no grinding. And you kill that dragon because he dies in hit, two hits. Yeah. You get a little cutscene. Yeah, and it's faster to. It would be faster to kill it instead of running for one minute. So now we woke up at the church, and Eric wants to get back one of his treasures, which is. Uh, the red hulb. So we are going to the downtown of Eliodor to get it and then we want to basically find uh, find allies and uh, and leave this city forever because we are now well everyone knows we are We're a wanted criminal. Yeah we are criminals exactly. That's why we got the hood on. Yeah. Now we're in the criminal underworld, we don't care, you know, we'll wear whatever we want. So first shopping, I'm going to buy a few herbs and holy water. Yeah, and you see how he hit the tree running up here to get some berries? That's to, uh, we give this girl some berries and holy water, which is why we buy the holy water. And uh, that then gets their dog to scare off the guard. Yeah. So there are like three different ways, I think, to get into the upper castle. One is with the dog, it's fastest. Yeah. The other is to pay the guard. Like, exorbitant amount. I, I don't even yeah. know. Yeah, very how expensive. Much. But it's possible. Um, and the other is... The other is some parkour. You get to a little... Uh, like a little hole in the very top of the area. And you can crawl through. Yeah, and there are also um, the love letter, like... If you talk to a specific child in the city, he's going to say that the guard is in love of one one girl, one dan a dancer, I think. I think. And if we we, we ask to this uh, this lady, uh, Ruby, if we ask her to write a letter to the guard, he's going to yeah, leave his uh, leave his uh, duty. I, I would say. I didn't even know about that. I've never seen that one. It's really long because you have to play the hide and seek with the child before, with the children, so it's it's really long. Oh my god, yeah, okay. So, the fastest way is to uh, get the dog and make the guard flee. So we are at the top of the city. And we want to find uh, a friend of Eric because Eric didn't find is uh, didn't find his orb, so he thinks that's his friend who who get it. He stole it. First of the panty raid, though, you know, stealing underwear. Yeah, very important. Stole. Underwear is the most expensive thing in this game. Yeah, fishnet stockings. 
So we get to sell those for better armor later. Very essential, actually, or else the next boss will uh, kill you over and over. And I think so will the one after that, and also the one after that. So we have time a bit for a donation. Shigen underscore donated eleven dollars and eleven cents. Good luck for your run, Silver. Thank what you. is your favorite Final Fantasy? Well, I haven't played Final Fantasy, so. <laughs> number three. The answer is number three. <laughs> but thank you. So I'm grabbing a seed of strength on my way, and so. Eric's friend, who is Derek, said that the the king got back the orbs and put it in a specific place, uh, a dungeon called the King's Barrow. And so Eric wants to go to the King's Barrow to get his orb. But on our way, we are going to head to Cobblestone because we know that the king sent some soldiers to to our village, so we want to make sure that everyone is safe in the village. And to reach the village, from here we have to pass the Mango Grove, which is a really, really dangerous forest. Even the Mango more, Grove is so fun. Yeah, even more dangerous when it's raining. Oh my god, is it raining? It's not raining, let's go! Of course it's not raining. So I'm going to do it's still dangerous, shop. but it's uh. You can do some quick menu here. You're selling soldier sword. Oh, you sell a lot of things. I only sell the fishnet stockings. Buy two pointy hats, I think, box of shorts and leather armor. And. Or two box of shorts and a chimera. Yeah, yeah so, so just stocking up on armor yeah. and other consumables. So. One boxer short and one pointy hat for Hero and Eric. One for each. And then the shield for Hero as well. Yeah. Oh, that, that cloud is trying to get you. Yeah. That was trying. Yeah, I saw. And so, Eric cannot have shield. He cannot hold shield, so no shield for him. And uh, I bought also four chimera wings that will be useful for later. Yeah, I think all four of them together only save like 60 seconds, but like, that's free, it's free, it's free, man. It's 100 gold for 60 seconds, I think we'll take that. So, forge time. I want to get a plus two or plus three, at least. It's going to be... It looks like... Plus two, uh, might be a plus three. I think a plus two as well, but it might be. It's within two and one perfect. Could be. It's a plus three. Yeah. So got this little fanfare. It slows it down a bit, but yeah. So to to balance my damages, to have always the same damages on the next fight, I'm going to give the seed of strength to Hero. And if I had a, a plus two, I would have given the seed of strength to Eric. Oh, that is a good idea. That is so smart, actually. I like. Because if you do too much damage, then the tricky devil coming up, the fight, can heal, yeah. and you can run out of damage and not be able to kill him. Um, and that's actually a really good way to balance it out, especially since the seed of strength on hero is actually useful for later. Like, you want them on hero, ideally. So I used the, that's actually... the seeds. I equipped my equipment because it was faster to put it in the bag when I was buying it. So now I equipped it, and I learned to Eric, which is already level 5, he joins the party at a specific level, always the same, it doesn't depend on the hero levels or on anyone else. So he's already level 5 and he can learn uh, his first ability, which is uh, Flame Slash. You may have noticed the dog that was following us, that's actually a carpenter who lives in the house around the campsite. He got turned into a dog by this guy. So we're going to go punish him. I'm going to get returned back into a human. He's going to fix the bridge for us. Excellent. Uh, that's, that's fine. 
Axes can do between 10 and 18, and uh, if it does 16 to 18, I believe, on Hero, then you have to heal, or else you can be one shot by the next attack. Or you can roll the dice and just die. <laughs> Which I may, may do in many runs, and then wonder why I lose a million runs. Is pretty good. Just keeping people above the death threshold, doing frizz when you can. Do the 18 now, so here it could die. So here it could. This is a bit dicey. Ah, uh, it's good. Should be fine. Nice. It was possible for the hero to die there. That's well, that would have been a rough start. Yeah, that's why I prefer to safety. Like I could have used the last frizz with hero. Yeah, the MP fried, but. The speed is but a yeah, bit defending. random here because Eric and Tricky Evil have, have the same speed. Not like, yeah, not yeah, completely yeah. the same, but speed is really random in this game. And so we are not sure who is going first, Eric or Tricky Devil. It's a bit random, so I I went for a safety, safety heal on safety. Eric. Yeah, it's probably correct. I don't think he would have died to the frizz anyway. No, so. not sure. Yeah, it would have been like... Either perfect damage or one to two. Up there. Yeah. And then Eric dies, and then you're like out, completely out of damage, and you can't do it. Yeah. If Hero dies, we can always make up the experience later. But if Eric dies, we run out of damage to just restart the boss. Yeah. Which means going all the way back to the start of the Mangle Crew. Because Hero has no damage. It's only level three. He was doing a bit of damage with Frizz, but he doesn't have an infinite uh, amount of MP. And. Runs run out fast, and yeah, Eric is our main damage dealer for all the early game. He's a thief, so he has a good yeah. attack, good agility. Oh, we're back in Cobblestone, everything looks great. Yeah, this is amazing. We love this town. It's perfect. Yeah, great. Oh, hang on, we're Let's visiting see. our mum, Amber. Yeah, she doesn't recognize us and kicks us out. What, what, what? happened there? What, what the hell? Okay, let's let's go to yeah the center of the village. Oh, Gemma, Gemma is really young. Oh my god, she's so short. What happened? Yeah, it's weird. Okay, I'm going to visit a bit more. It's really weird. Oh, who's that? Th that's me. Oh my god. That's me. Hey, yeah, that's really me. What happened? <laughs> so we met oh, our what? grandfather from the past. And yeah, the luminary has some power that so he can see, he can have some visions of the past. And so we saw our grandfather, who is actually dead, but we saw his, uh, we saw him from the past and he told us to find a letter in the cobblestone falls. So we can. Oh my god, the town's, the town's been destroyed! Yeah! Oh, the town's it's destroyed. Let's see. Completely destroyed. Alright, alright. Mr. I know the entire map backwards. <laughs> Styling on everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I was to show the village. <laughs> so. So now it's back on the old. Going to the cold sense walls now. Yeah. So yeah, the village, uh, village has been destroyed by the soldiers of Eliodor, and we don't know where our whole mom, Gemma, and everyone else, they disappeared. But you okay, never mind, let's go, let's go away. So we inspect this uh, rock, triangular rock, and we read the letter of our real mother, because Ember isn't our real mother, actually. We are the prince of uh, Dendrazel. And so now it's time to enter King's Barrow, which is right here. I'm going to this statue to save my game. Not for safety. And this is, uh, yeah, this is speed strats. I'll pick so, up. Um, to do with the Chimera ones we got. And you'll, oh, you're picking up the hibiscus now. Fair enough. Yeah. A little item that can put an enemy to sleep. Use those either on the next boss or on uh, some of the ones later. I don't use it for this, for the next boss. It's, it yeah, will I, be for I, later. I think just to the corals. Yeah. 
But yeah, we saved there because we can use Chimera Wings in this game to teleport to our last save. So uh, now instead of when we go all the way to the end of this dungeon, we don't have to leave the dungeon, walk back all the way out or cast evac or anything. We can just teleport right back to that uh, campsite, which is really, really helpful. Oh, what's going on here? Everyone is dead. Bunch of beat up guards. Someone did the, the job before us. Beautiful. Now we're going to beat up these guys, which are much easier than the other ones. They're not tricky, they're just a little. Yeah. Um, and we have the added benefit of tactics in this game being very, very uh, good, to be honest. So uh, sit back, relax, first grind of like two minutes. So How many grinds want... are there in this game? Three? We want to be level seven. Oh, Eric. That's a good fight. Yeah, not bad. Oh, he missed the. Attack Missed the range. Fortunate. <laughs> yeah, he needs to be level 7 on Eric and level 6 on Eric. That's really bad. That's uh, really, really bad. Uh, I should. Yeah, I go back on manual because I'm a bit afraid. Yeah, to heal. Yeah. Okay, you're fine. You should. And you've got the good benefit of getting a full heal, mana, and health when you level up. So it's. Uh, Really, really nice, even if you take damage in fights, it's okay. So at level 7... Picking up. Um, oh yeah, sorry, go. Okay. Uh, so level 7, Eric is going to learn attack plus 10 with the sword. There's going to be a huge damage boost for the next boss. And we are also going to grab this chest containing a string ring. I'm going to equip on Eric right now. And also healing. Quick healing, we can and we're gonna heal with the... Oh, uh, quick healing is so nice. Yeah. That's, uh, that strength ring, that is staying in on someone for the entirety of the game. <laughs> that is used for the rest of the game. Um, maybe not in true end, I think you ditch it in true end because you get mighty armlets. But at least until the any percent boss is uh, down. Yeah, this is the best uh, attack boost in... Accessory that boost attack with uh, Dragon Scale until trending. That's a pretty bad fight. Shiny enemy. Now. We get to kill a shiny. No, that's not a real shiny. You're lying. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not sure I have enough XP. Yeah, I have to go back because the eggs doesn't give him a lot of XP. So I have to fight this enemy up there. That's okay. It's not too bad. This is just a 2-1 as well. So yeah. it should be easy, you know? Yeah. This one is, like, in some places of the dungeon, we know that the enemies are going to be always uh, 2 or 3. Yeah, the exact same. Yeah, the exact same. So here there was only 2, but here in this place the X can be with, with well, 0. I, I think there's like 6 different combinations. Yeah. So, um, we kill those ones to get the seed of defense. Uh, otherwise, even though they're slow, because the seed of defense is well, it's a good amount of defense. <coughs> and we, um, to Eric, and yeah, we're going to fight the Grim Griffins who wants to take the red and orb. These guys, these guys are brutal, pretty bad. But this is the, the reason why boss. another this is the type of boss that has yeah. a random pattern. Like, no pattern, I mean. They deal random actions. Okay, good. Good, good pep. This is... Pep is really nice. It's uh, basically extra damage, good status effects. And we're hoping Eric peps as well, and we can do a 70 damage nuke. But um, Eric seems to be a bit slow. I have a feeling... That's bad. He's gonna kill the one on the right, and then, yeah, go for pep on the one on the left. But this is an okay fight so far. It's not too bad. Getting a bit low. You're alright though. It's okay. To, one to is, do. Once one is done. And then you kill this one in like two seconds. This one just dies. Which is a pretty good fight, honestly. 
Could have been a bit dicey, but played it really safe with defending. Oh my god. I mean... I, I don't know, man. Like, can you get luckier? Like, Yeah, what the hell is, it? is that run? It will catch uh, up. You go for the grind and you'll get 10 robots in a row. I'm waiting. <laughs> Thank you for jinxing me. <laughs> <laughs> so I just checked quickly my XP to know how many enemies I have to kill to get hero level 8. And I saw 91, so it means I will kill uh, 4 Drake Mages. 4 Drake Mages gives uh, 92 XP points, so it's perfect. I think you could also just take the Skull Rider fight. Yeah, but it's too, good. it's too random. I don't like to go for yeah, that's Unless I have like a bad XP amount. Like if I add, I was... Uh, Short by a few XP for the four Drake image, mage, Drake images. Sorry, uh, yes, I would have go for for the Skull Rider, but yeah. here it's I have a really consistent way to get to level eight, which is two fights of two Drake images. Because yeah, yeah, because I know a, a place. This is actually a really interesting part of the run because yeah. this is a uh, first part from the King Sparrow onwards. You can roll the dice a bit. Or you can choose to take some of these enemies with the she slimes or the bongos, um, depending on how much experience you got in the King's Barrow, yeah, and how much gold you want going into the going into Hotto, um, and how much experience you want going into Jarvis as well. Um, and you have to manage it all with using Pep on the Griffins. So it's possible to do Griffins a level lower than we did, but you do it with Pep instead of without if you get an earlier Pep, and it's kind of interesting on the fly things when things are really faster or slower depending on the hand you're given kind of cool kind of cool rounds. but now we're in hotto top and we're meeting our next couple of party members but first of all buying some armor bumped into the door nice the next boss hits very hard. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's Jarvis. So, new city, you're going to. Well, city, town, I mean. Uh, there are some uh, steam baths, like, uh, like in the ESA, actually. <laughs> Fine. And so, we met uh, a girl called Veronica who's looking for her sister, and in the steam bath, we found uh, a little girl who lost herself, so we guess it's Veronica's sisters, but actually not. So here I'm going to use the wing to go back to Otto, faster, go back at the entrance because there's a cutscene at the entrance with Veronica. So Veronica is... Yeah, we literally... Yeah, sorry, gone. Oh, we usually just use the wings to jump around Hotto. It's uh, and then we end up getting Zoom soon enough, which is a really nice spell. You play Dragon Quest, you know what Zoom does. But uh, yeah, now we've met Veronica, little mage. Me back up with her sister. So I'm going to grab uh, a chest which contains two gold ores, which will reduce the price oh. of uh, uh, what I'm doing. You're doing Drazillion this run? Yeah. Safe. Uh, Safe. Uh, yeah. I'll go for Drazillion. There's uh, two possible strats for later, for a part called the Arena, where we have to stuff a bit the hero, and there's two possibilities. Uh, grabs of grabbing a few armor on our way, which are a tortoise shell and the iron mask, or take some time to forge a uh, better armor, which is the Drazilian armor. So now we're going to uh, the crypt to find Veronica's sister. So Veronica is a, is a mage who lost her powers. She, her power, magical might, has been uh, stolen by the next boss, who's Jarvis. I hate Jarvis, man. Yeah, I hate him too. I think, I think we least favorite boss because he can just go so bad yeah you feel so bad resetting 40 minutes into the run yeah it's a really bad boss and you do it 
it's a really bad boss for many reasons because uh, the boss itself is not really random. Like he, there's a, just the turn two, which is a bit random. We don't know if he's going to do a, an attack, regular attack or deep breeze. Deep breeze uh, doubles the damage of his uh, cold breeze, which is a powerful AOE. And the problem is that he has uh, three shadows fighting with him. That's Acts, uh, they act randomly and we have with us uh, Veronica and Serena in the fight that also uh, they are also acting randomly well Veronica, um, Serena is supposed to heal us when we are low but no don't trust her really don't trust her bad idea yeah now we get to the NPCs who help us in fights who are meant to heal us when we're low well they're meant to do they? Do we trust them? Do we not? Do we waste an attack trusting them? Ah, yeah. Well, never trust the NPCs, I'll be honest. Only trust when it's really necessary. Only trust the Vince, our lord and saviour Vince. Always trust Vince. <laughs> oh, Veronica does damage, as much damage as the hero. A spam castle. Because of that, that's why you're killing these. Yeah, she get level eight, so and that gets eight. Sizz, which is really good for this boat. Yeah, really, really it's, good. It's a, it's a spell that uh, attacks a group of enemies, and the three shadows that will be with Jarvis are a group of enemies, so we can attack the three shadows at once. NPC, the enemy place. Nice, nice, nice. So it can look a lot harder to dodge stuff in this game, actually. Or look a lot easier. Right? So I equipped a new shield for Hero, Silver Platter. It's not a great shield, but still better than the leather shield. We see a vision to see uh, how to open the door, to know the password. And we enter to go to win the fights, the bad fights. What is good about the NPCs is they have infinite health, so we're hoping they keep getting attacked. Off is nice. Veronica gets attacked by Jarvis, really good start. Yeah, really good. Shadows Okay, that's a deep risk. That's uh, right. <laughs> okay, I mean... <laughs> what, what the hell was that? I can't... That's the first time I ever see Veronica critting like that. It's so, it's so good. So you can see the huge damages when Jarvis uses the deep breath. Yeah. Oh, that's bad. Uh, Serena. At least we've got double buff up, which is too much of a concern. Okay. Um, I think Serena should heal us. Serena? Come on. I think it's okay because you've got buff. If you didn't have buff, it's okay. Yeah. okay. But it's fine, yeah. Okay. Looking to keep spamming Sizz. Really good fight so far. Yeah. One more Sizz should wipe them all. Maybe one is left alive. Maybe eight. Oh, what to focus on here, Oh. Ooh, that's it. Ah. Nice. Good job, Veronica. Ah, beautiful. <laughs> I was right. Nice defend as well. Thanks. Very good. Now the fight's pretty easy. Uh, now the shadows are dead. Yeah. Until Jarvis peps, and then it can get dicey. We might get a pep, maybe. Use the pet power. Oh, oh my god. Bad. For the deep breath spam, this is actually a really good fight so far. Yeah. <laughs> the Serena double attack as well. Oh, impressive. <laughs> good job, Serena. Uh, I'm going to outspeed, which Defense. is really bad. I have to defend the I think it's okay. Eric's got buff on you, should. I, sh I prefer to play safe because he's going to pep soon. Oh, yeah, of course, of course. Okay, nice. I'm 
Now instead already. of using pep right away, we'll use the extra stats from the pep first. Exactly. Get some extra damage in. Well... Well, maybe not, actually. Yeah, <laughs> Never mind. Like, <laughs> what the hell is that turn order, really? Ooh. Nice block! Okay. Oh. So good. Because when he gets pepped up, Jarvis hurts so much. Like, he would have done he does 30 yeah. damages to hero with one attack, so yeah. yeah. Pretty good fight, actually. Yeah. Like, but it kind of cooperated and kind of did deep breaths, every defense. Every defend is like a wasted attack, so a lot more turns later on. The more turns you have in a fight, the time you lose. And so actually pretty good. I think that was probably perfect fight for three deep breaths. Mm. Four, no? Was it four? <laughs> oh my god, I can't even count. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I can't. Maybe three, yeah. But three would be nine turns at least. Yeah, maybe it was three deep breaths, which is a lot already. Oh yeah, it's a lot. Like, I tried to get through a fight with zero, you know? And... Yeah. <laughs> so now we're going to lay on zoom now. Beautiful spell. Oh my god, I love this spell. Yeah. And I'm going to use the last uh, wing to go back to the campsite I saved before. To so now any place we go to, we can uh, like go and zoom back to them. So you'll see like visit a campfire and then not do anything there. Just to get the zoom point. <laughs> oh sorry, I've got a cough. Part of the reason I'm not even... Ah. Oh. So I rectified Eric, uh, because now uh, it's just available since the last boss. Uh, we can rectify the skills we allocated. Uh, so we can use it on another tree if we want. Cost uh, a few a few golds, but we're going to actually... Uh, that's why we, we took some uh, extra equipments in the crypt. Not to equip them, but to to sell them, to have money, to do some rectifications later on. Oh yeah, those gloves. Those rubber gloves. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, they're worth so much money, somehow. I don't know how they're worth so much. Uh, one, it's 1500, I think. 1500. I think it's 1400. 1400 gold. I think it's the concrete earrings worth 15. Oh yeah, yeah, you're right. Uh, it doesn't matter. It's it's enough. It's it's money. When we we're rolling in thousands, we don't even care, you know. Oh, now we're in Tickington. This is bonus dungeon added in the Switch version or XIS version. Yeah, we don't. Um, but we don't do much in Tickington unless you're doing the super boss percentage, which is a nice nine-hour run or so. Yeah, did a run of time in percent. Many runs, actually. So yeah, this <laughs> this city is. Just oh yeah, this. Just did. that's an RPG runner for you. Just oh yeah, I just did many runs of a ten-hour run. Yeah, 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 many, many, many. Yeah, easy game. <laughs> <laughs> But you're forced to go in there, so that's why we don't bother getting a horse, because the horse will disappear. Yeah, that's it. Um, instead of just running, so we have to run through the desert here, unfortunately. But uh, we enjoy the view, you know. Yeah, great view over there. And over <laughs> oh, what? Okay. <laughs> oh, what the hell? You I just think... went camera mode. And yeah, <laughs> accidentally I pressed. I don't know how I pressed that, but yeah. <laughs> Quick passage from the karma, I guess, because I was so close to to eat the monster. <laughs> because yeah, I wasn't brownie almost it. found you. Yeah. So we are now in Galopolis. Galopolis, uh, Gallop of Galopolis. Yeah. So uh, yeah, a lot of horses in this place. And so now in the story we want to find the rain rainbow, which is uh, like a, not a tree, yeah, a part of the egg drizzle. 
and uh, this uh, rainbow would help us to find the remaining holes. So we have already one, which is uh, which was uh, which belonged to Eric. And uh, stealing more underwear as well. Sorry. Stealing more underwear and jewelry. Beautiful. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I'm also going to get just behind the throne. <laughs> He's life saving sitting behind that, beautiful. Yeah. 1500 gold. And I'm going to only steal a, a hat to the prince. He's lucky. He doesn't have that much expensive stuff in his room. And we zoom back to Galopolis, so not like the unlike the uh, previous games, we can zoom uh, inside a building or in, in a dungeon. And that's not the game, so that's not the case in 2D mode. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say, but I don't really play in 2D mode. That much. I don't know. I don't like random encounters. I enjoy seeing the enemies I'm about to yeah, so good. destroy, I guess. So Eric is going to use the knives for the next boss fight, so that's why I bought a knife for him. And the skill points are going to be, the, be in the knives also. That's why I rectified him just before. So you get a really strong ability, Cobra Strike, uh, really, really good, poisons the enemy. And in this game, you can status effect bosses. It's not like other uh, RPGs where they kind of buff bosses so they can never take any sort of status effect. And you definitely do do it in this game and it definitely works and it's a really nice way to get through uh, while being underleveled. So we'll most definitely be seeing a lot of sap, uh, some snooze maybe, a lot of envenomation, some fuddling. And I also think some bonds probably later on. One of the best things we can do in this game. I'll maybe save it for later. We can disrupting wave so like we can get it in this game, in the form of different abilities, which uh, you know you finally give it back to those people wave advising you. I'm going to learn one ability like that, which is a wreck and break later on. Yeah, it's really nice. Ooh, now we've replaced the prince in his horse race because he can't ride a horse. Yeah. That's, uh, ooh. That's unfortunate. So, what do you think will be my, my time? Are you good at the race? Mm, Alright, I would say. <laughs> Uh, yeah, 105 then, let's go. 105? High 105, okay. I believe. I believe, I believe. Okay. You believe it. I think I get a 105 most every time, see. It's not too difficult, you just have to do it. You just need to not have skill issues. True, true, <laughs> true. And that's my problem. So you're fine then, you got it. This is looking perfect. God, this is a breeze. Mm. I was going to say 0.95, but like, you're looking at the... less than... Oh, I bonked. Oh, the skill issue. Skill issues. Ah, oh, I missed the 105 oh. that. You tried, you tried so hard to save like one fifth of a second. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I shouldn't have. <laughs> No, that was good. That's still fine. I love 106, it's still good. Yeah. So, whatever we win or lose the race, the prince is 
is fine, he's happy. We did the, the race for him, so it's okay. And now he's supposed to give us the rainbows that his uh, father has. But of course, uh, we didn't help enough, so we will have to do one more mission, which is uh, kill the Slayer of Sands that terrifies the desert. Yeah, we didn't even mention why we came here in the first place. We need the rainbow, but like, we don't really care about it. There's these things called orbs in these games. You gotta collect like seven dragon orbs or something, you know, like you know, seven dragon balls. We don't care. We uh, we get them automatically, kind of by skipping them anyway. Yeah. But we have to collect a few. Yeah, it's in the story triggers. Yeah, that's the whole thing. Serena and Veronica join. They're like, oh, you must collect these things. We're the Arborian sisters. We know everything. We're almighty sages. And to be fair, they're pretty strong, so... Yeah. Very useful characters. <laughs> so yeah, now we're on the quest to do that. Find all the orbs. Find new party members. The rainbow will help us locate them. But, uh... We obviously know where they are, because we've played through this game, I don't know, 50 times? 60 times? More. <laughs> <laughs> more, always more. So I'm grabbing the campsite here, I just have to interact with, and it is uh, registered in my zoom points. So I will be able to zoom at this campsite later on. It's only a 20 second time save, but every... I think you've done for all these small things, like the Chimera Wings, the campsite visits, all of them are just small time saves, but it's added up to being... Instead of being at this point at an hour and five minutes, you're at this point at 51 minutes, right? It all adds up phenomenally well. Five. Okay, interesting. Let's go. Now we're fighting the next best enemy, Prestigenators. Yep. They give the most experience at this level, and you get the chance to find a Metal Slime here. But, uh, it's about 2% chance to find a Metal Slime, I think. Yep. And killing it is another story. Bang is really bad. If they spam it, we can die, and every go everyone got blind by this old. So, oh, oh my god. That's really bad. Okay, survive. Oh my god. We can do this, guys. Good job. Hero healed Eric. Would Eric have died to that? Ah, I don't know. Good I think Eric. What is he, was he one health? I did. I didn't see if he was eight health and it did seven damage. That would have been very. It's actually okay if Eric dies there, but uh, actually, it's okay if Hero dies there. Sorry, it's bad if Eric dies there. You have to go revive him. But uh, that's uh, interesting. To five, you need four. Yeah, that should be enough. Oh, I forgot to heal room. the sisters. Uh, we don't care about the sisters. It should be okay if they don't get. Uh, bang. Yeah, it looks good. <laughs> Hero is healing. Instead of scissing, yeah, it's bad. Siri <laughs> <Sure> not. <laughs> this is tactics. Never they're mind. fine, they're fine. You're fine. Never it's okay. So we grind to level 10 hero because we need. Uh, he needs a bit of XP, and also level 10 uh, will give him enough HP to survive of the critical hit of the Slayer. Slayer is a scripted boss, always the same attacks, not the same targets, it's always the same yeah. attacks at the same time. So we want a consistent fight, and it never happens because there's always some issues with the speed, the sap missing, the poison not it doesn't landing. Get poisoned, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The confusion, because he confuse uh, a random amount of people on turn two, which is just before his crit, so if he confuse the healers and everyone is not full, this can be really bad. So let's see how it will go. Did you buy any special medicines or did you do that later? Strong medicines, you mean? 
A strong yes. Yeah, it's a strong idea. idea. Of course. Yeah. Not like nice, poison nice cross try. Very nice. So good. Very good. It's a shame for Uncle in last, but actually missed anyway. It doesn't matter. Hmm. Interesting. And even though he's poisoned, keep doing Cobra Strike. It does a tiny bit of damage. Okay, that's. I mean, that's okay. It's okay, one health. The confusion. And no one confused. It's a shame about the saps, but this is pretty yeah. good so far. Maybe everyone lives. Eric. Thing maybe. Uh, can I get the sap, please? That's seventy-five percent of chance to get it. So zero percent chance, you mean? It's not one hundred, so it's zero. Oh, never mind, it's 100. And the damage difference is already like, it's double. You know, you're doing double the damage now to this app. It's insane. This boss has a lot of health. I think 980. Okay, no blind. No one blinded? Wow. Yeah, because yeah, the, the breath here can blind anyone. And you definitely don't want Hero and Eric blinded. This is, except for the saps, really good fight. If everyone lives as well, everyone gets good experience. Eric's almost pepped as well. He might pep during the next fight, which is interesting if that happens. Yeah, maybe. Because that's a really strong pep. I should kill here. Yeah. He dies before the crit. Yeah. Nice. Very nice. A bit slow, but very safe and everyone lives. Everyone living makes it slower, but everyone gets experience. Makes the next fights easier. Yes. So we want the most important to keep alive is the hero and well Eric a bit but not that much. Hero is the most important character to keep alive for the next bosses. Yes. Since he's going to do uh, the arena alone. He's not alone, he's got Vince, our best friend. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> But he feels alone. <laughs> you can see it as it at his face. Fortunately, we're done in Galapolis. We get to leave. Prince Paris acknowledges his shortcomings and is going to improve. Maybe a bit too far. We'll see him later. And we get a fifth party member. We get them. So Probably the strongest, most versatile party in the game. Yeah. Until Hero gets to like level 90. And we are going to build him with a lot of rectifications. So he learns his most, well, his, seg his second most broken skill, Crystal Dance. And using quick menuing, or smart menuing, I should say, which silver wins you quickly. You can rectify, I think, three times, and we can get to this charm spot, this added stat of charm in the bottom, which gives us bonus skill points. And every single character has one slot like this that gives a bonus 10 skill points. We can get it immediately for Sylvando, perfectly, and using it, we can get Hustle Dance. Right now, our max health is about 66, I think, on Eric, or about 70-ish. And some of the sisters only have 50. And Hustle Dance heals for... It's basically a full heal. It's Omni Heal. It's Omni Heal. <laughs> yeah, it's completely uh, broken. Level 15 Omni Heal. Like, I don't know what else to say. We we want it. Even the main healers, like Serena, doesn't get the... Um, doesn't get a, a multi-heal spell before level 30. So yeah, it's completely broken. Yeah, it's busted. It gets us through the next... Like, we need it to do one of the fights. Probably the last truly RNG heavy boss. Yeah. In Spider, Aractagon. We need it to get through that boss at our low level, or else... It's possible to go through that fight with Hustle Dancing every single turn in order to do the fight. Yeah. Because this and boss... Uh, it's at least bosses. every other turn. Spider will be another random boss. There's not a lot of random bosses, like Griffins were the first one. Uh, the next one is going to be 
Well, Kuros are acting Jarvis is, randomly. Jarvis is Jarvis is a bit random. Half semi. Half scripted. Yeah. Jarvis is half scripted. Uh, Sayer was completely scripted. Uh, Kuros, which is the next boss, is random, but random, but they can only do three things. Yeah. So it's not too bad. And next up, we will have Jasper, which is completely scripted. I, then you've I, got I the arena fast. fights all scripted as well, really. Yeah. I think there's a couple things in the arena that aren't scripted, but you get a feeling for when they're going to do what. And in general, in the arena, they're going to do something when it's going to kill you. So um, you kind of know what they're going to do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the spider's a hard fight. Uh, and then it's... Is there anything else that's unscripted? Uh, Tatsunaga. I think is Tatsunaga. It? Is yeah, Tatsunaga is unscripted. The rest of the bosses are half scripted or completely yeah. scripted, which is good. It's uh, So we can use our knowledge to, to know what to do in the fights. Yeah, it's mostly just who they attack and the turn order that really affects how you can yeah. play the fights out. And it makes a big difference. So a lot of these bosses have like a multi-slash ability and they can just focus one person and kill you. And then it's like, oh yeah, okay, well, unlucky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we are in Gulnodia. Not useful weapon. We bought, uh, yeah, the first great, well, we had the cobblestone great sword at the beginning of the run, but we didn't really use it except for the smogs. Mm. Oh, that's a real great sword yeah. that we're going to use. Hero is going to be uh, uh, to be skill skill built, I would say, on great sword. Now he's going to be a great damage dealer. Eric, Eric is going to be useless now, sadly. Great swords are busted. Yeah. Best way to defend yourself is to kill the enemy before they can kill you. You know. Exactly. So do more damage. It's the easiest way. Yep. Yeah, some more menuing, uh, moving some things around, and everything lines up really nicely in this run. You know, like even those single files restore ten MP. That can get you two more abilities with the hero to do damage with his great sword, and he does a lot of damage with his great sword. But we're gonna see. We've got a couple bosses coming up. They can both kill you, but they're generally pretty safe. Which says kind of how everything in the run is. So, in the story of the game now, we went to Gundolia to find the rainbow, but the, the merchant that uh, bought it to uh, the Sultan of Galopolis uh, took a boat, took a ship to reach Octagonia. So we have no choice to get a ship. Luckily, uh, Solando has a ship and uh, we just have to get his ship back with him. He invi invites us in his ship to go to Octagonia. Sadly, uh, the um, harbor is closed because there's a tournament in the, in the city. So we have no choice than waiting. So to to wait, we are going to to help a little kid who lost his voice. So we are we need to go to this uh, this grotto called Grotta della Fonte to uh, get a uh, bird song. Uh, what is it called? Bird song nectar. nectar. Yeah, nectar. And uh, to get this nectar, we have to fight a monster. So. That's a group of, a group of two Corvallises. Yeah, the Corvallis hit quite hard, but they're very weak to magic. And um, I think you're doing magic strats, right? You didn't get Cutting yeah. Edge already? Yeah, magic strats. Yeah, so you can try to hit the saps, or you can just spam scissors. Uh, I think you're probably going to get a pep with Eric, to be honest, if they hit Eric once. Which is really nice if you do, because then you get Scorched Earth, really good pet power to kill these things. Nice! Um, yeah, yeah, you called oh, it. Really, really good. Ah, yeah. Because of how much he got hit on the Slayer fight, you can kind of tell when you're about to get pet. Oh, that's bad. Ah, that's bad. That that's good. really bad. Uh, 
you can heal her. So yeah. Veronica should live for this fight, ideally. I was right to heal her because else. Yeah, very good. <laughs> I was dead else. She was dead, and she's the most damage dealer in this in this yeah, fight. This and it's really fight. suck. It really sucks. I really have to land confusion on Salvando. Or... I think you just hustle the arms, to be honest. Just it's also risky, I mean, yeah, I'm going for a stall dance, but it's also risky, like, they can double physical hero and... Okay, that looks about right. So, kill hero, that's the most important. Yeah, they should be dying soon enough, to be honest. Yeah, thanks to the Scorch Earth, which is a, a power. Yeah, very fortunate. Okay, yeah. That's... Oh wow, that's really unfortunate. Yeah. Please don't hit Hero or Veronica, please don't. Oh my god. That's really unfortunate. Yeah. So I will have to get back some XP. I, will, I, I need to farm some enemies on the, on the, the dungeon. I don't know if you need to, I think you can just... I need to, uh, I need XP. I won't be 13 else after. So I need... It's probably good to get the bird song nectar and then zoom back to the prestigionators then, I think. No. So no. You don't think so? You just do it like this? Yeah. Yeah, fair enough. Just fight a few enemies here. I'm not so far from the level up. I need like five, 500 XP. Oh, okay, that's fine then. Yeah. That's unfortunate. Yeah, but that's yeah. the yeah. They're very likely to get hit by the fuddle and the sleeping. I think it's as you said, seventy-five or fifty percent at least. Fifty. And you missed five times. Fifty-six uh, Eliscus and uh, forty uh, for the for the. Uh, oh, it's less likely, though. But that's still. It's, yeah, that's that's still. That's quite unfortunate. unfortunate. Yeah, because I did like two dances, and it missed twice. Yeah, you missed all five of them. Yeah. Because even if only one of them hits, that's enough, that's all we need. And they all attacked as well, there was no forbearance. Very unfortunate. Uh, they called back up, that's pretty bad. Okay, nice. So I'm kinda improvising, because we are not Keep. supposed to... When hero dies, usually in a PB attempt, we just reset instantly. Here yeah, I have to find a backup, so... No choice. Yeah. I think for a PB run, it would be oh. over at this point. Uh, even though Come some on. of the fights have been insane so far. That's really sad. That doesn't really matter though, she gets a story res, you know? Yeah. Another one bites the dust. And I'm level there we go. 12. So, let's get the bells on Nectar and then zoom back to Gondolia. Oh yeah, you're right, that was really quick. So go back up. Just make sure to put cutting edge on him. Yeah, sure. It's the number of times I've gone into the I've gone into the Jasper fight and been like, oh my god, where where is it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've just been stuck there. Because cutting edge is a really strong ability. You it deals uh the double damages of a regular attack. Cannot crit though, but yeah. We don't need to add more random things. So yeah. A pure. Yeah, it's uh, and if you give uh, the buffs. Yeah, if you buff hero, it scales with, so it's pretty strong. And if we add the sap of Veronica, it's we can deal a huge amount of damages despite all low level. Because we are kinda under level for this this part of the of the game. Like usually, you are level at least fifteen. We have your level 12. So this is this is the second night that is uh, hunting us down, Jasper. We've got two guys following us, Hendrik and Jasper, trying to catch the dark spawn that is the Luminary. Bit confusing, but it makes sense eventually. When you play the game for the tenth time, it starts making sense. <laughs> oh my god, they just killed us. No, no. Oh wait, we're fine. Okay. Game over. <laughs> game over. Okay, I need to focus for this part. Okay, good. So, yeah. Nice dodge. 
have to dodge the guards to reach Jasper. So Eric got kidnapped, but Hero managed to flee. And uh, now we need to save Eric from Jasper. So we pass all the guards, dodge them, and then take a gondola. My god, a gondola? A gondola in gondolia? That's yeah. wow. Who Surprising. saw that one come? Surprising. And so, yeah, nobody spots us in, uh, in the gondola. Like, nobody is watching the, oh, this, the water. This guy fishing spots us, I guess. Oh, no. no he doesn't care, he's just, he's just fishing, he's a loving life. Do you think he noticed I broke a barrel here? I don't know. I think he did, but I don't think he cares, oh. and I think he's just... Yeah. When a man is fishing, you know, you don't disturb him. Yeah. So, a little seed of strength for hero for more damages. And we go in the fight. Which can go really good or really bad. Okay, please Veronica. Good, okay, she did nice, uh, her main job. And nice turn order. If hero goes now, very good. Yeah. I mean, that's perfect start. That's exactly what you want to see. Ex perfect. Now I can buff Siri 9 and put her on frontline. So what we want is we want the hero to be attacked here. Or Siri also. Get pep from getting low health. Wow, nice block. No. That's bad. Because I wanted her to get it to go in pep, but she blocked uh, in it. So oh, because you buffed her, she can yeah. survive. Oh, yeah. for me, I'm so used to just like throwing the sisters away, they just die. Yeah. You know? First go out. <laughs> yeah, we that we on I. That, oh that's my the god. Most, uh, well, I I should just suicide actually because now the fight is lost. Yeah, you just you hit double played and attack twice here. And that's so sad. Really, that's the worst scenario. <laughs> went from the best opening possible to instantly death and it's over. Look, Sirena has pep, but um, I cannot use a pep power because Hero is dead. Oh, crap. Oh, with deliverance, yes. So, yeah, it's, we um, will have to... We have no damage. He keeps guarding. Yeah, we have no damage. I have to, I have to die. And we have to retry. That's really, really sad. Like, this, this fight when went through that. I mean, it happens, it happens. The double attack on here is... It's, that's it. I, I didn't have the opportunity to heal him. Like, zero opportunity. Yeah, yeah, he no, just double attack, he just did 120 damage to him. Yeah. Even with buff, I think Hero still dies there, so... Yeah, we don't want to buff Hero in this fight because uh, an attack of Jasper puts him in, uh, in red, which will proc his... Uh, more likely to get pep. What the hell is oh, that? Oh, that guy's bad spot that time. I think yeah. because we respawn, the cycle is fucked up, so. That's, yeah, uh, it's alright. Yeah, I, I, fl I fled first try, which is really good and not likely to happen because flee rate is really low in this game. Now we get round two, which is all good. Yeah. Um, I hope. Very good. Okay, so. that's, uh, well, that, well, that's that's foreboding for what's going to happen. Yeah, we had an example. Of, the rest of the run. We had an example of, of what can happen when speed is uh, weirdly randomized. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yes. No, I didn't do. See the strength. Yeah. Yeah. See the strength. I have to get it again. Use it again. And there we go. Please, Jasper, be nice. You Usually we save that sort of stuff for the arena. That happens quite a lot in the arena. But uh, not so much against Jasper. And no, I have the bad turn order. Of course. It already a difference from 49 to 92 based on the sap and the imp. Massive difference. We'll see how it goes. Good. Nice. I forgot to sap actually, I'm done. It's alright. I think that's probably safer based on what just happened. I'm, I'm going to hit a first time and then... Not bad. Save it for the sap, yeah. Very nice. Nice. Beautiful. And this, this pet power does a lot. Yeah. Uh, like a lot. Like two of the pet powers will kill the boss almost. Seize the meter. So we, uh, we, we love this. Oh my god. This is revenge. Yeah. 
Oriel. Okay. Okay, good. I think he's got about 250 health left, so two more cutting edges and one bot lick or something should kill him. A couple scissors. Maybe even less than that. Last medicine. And this is an example of how good the fight can go as well. So yeah. one think cap is really nice actually. Yeah, it's so damn. It's beautiful. Very nice fight. I feel better just keep getting better. Now as that's how the fight can go. Eric got captured, so he wasn't in that fight. Probably should have mentioned. But you know, yeah. we don't really care about Eric. Yeah, now he's a less. He's uh, he's late in levels. So yeah. I'm going to well we will use him a bit in the spider fight just to get poison but he is not anymore the main damage dealer. We won't use oomph on him, like no. Yeah. Kinda useless. Yeah. You might actually. It might be good to um since Sylvando has pep, if Hero has pep going with spider fight, you can do like fight fantastic yeah. and just get oomph on Eric as well, which is really nice. But you have to get Back in both of them pepped up, strong. which is which is a bit rare. Possible after the arena. It's possible, yeah. It's possible. If the spider puts uh, Chiru and Slavando at low HP, rep, Pep can proc, or just after a, a, set, a certain time, after some time, because Pep, Pep's is, uh, Pep is proc'd by uh, taking a lot of damages, but also eventually triggers uh, after many many turns of battle yeah. and it triggers much faster in 2D and that's how we are going to uh, use uh, pep powers in 2D we're going to abuse of that for the um, 2D grind after the spider fight that's that's a little bit away now we have the worst part of the run yeah. after running through Zvaz Rust going to Octagonia and hanging around Dondrasil this is the part that kills the most that gets here yeah a mini boss rush, full of RNG, that can go really good or really bad. I hate this place. And then after it, you got another boss that does the same thing, and then you got the grind, which is just five coin tosses in a row. Have to win all of them. Yeah. Just a combination of other than that, RNG moments. Other than that, this run is great, but this half an hour coming up is just painful. It's some of the worst speedrun things you can do. In a marathon, you can just go, oh, so, I don't mind. It wasn't on PV pace anyway. I just died to Jasper, you know? I, the hero died to Corals. Yeah, that was a PV pace until Corals messed up. So we grabbed the zoom point of Octagonia, and now we are going to the Dundrazzle runes to grab some, uh, some stuff. Seed of Life, uh, Dragon Scale, and Dundrasil Armor. Armor. So, love the Dundrasil Armor. Since we will have to go back to Dundrasil later on to awesome story events, we are going to grab the Kent site on our way. Yep. So we headed to Octagonia in the first place. Try to find the orbs. Try to find the Rainbow. We heard it was on. Uh on offer there from the uh, Sultan, that's the name, from the Sultan in Galopolis because he sold it, because he's selling the treasures of his vault. So we know where the rainbow is, we're going to go find it in Octagonia, but we have to enter a tournament and win the MMA tournament, which is the Masked Martial Arts tournament. It's a bit more than just mixed, considering people are throwing all sorts of weapons around, and spells. But, uh, yeah, we've got to fight our way through with our best friend in the game. And we need good armor to get through, because we are hilariously underleveled. You're meant to be about level 18 to 20 at this point, I think. We're 12, 13. Yeah, I'm level 13. So we're going to get the strongest armor we can right now. Go into the well and, and get the... We 
P for the Dunderzel armor. So this is going to be something we have to forge. And that's why I I took uh, I picked up a few uh, materials like the two gold ores at Hoto and uh, also a silver ore uh, on the way to to Gondoria. So uh, I can so I can buy the components uh, in the forge. That's a feature of the definitive edition. But yeah, such a nice feature. Yeah, but. If I, gather, if I gather a few a few components, it's, go it's going to be less expensive and we don't have infinite money. So. Because we don't have, in this game, with the forge, how much uh, focus you have, how much the ability to like bash like we did at the start is affected by your level. Since we're so underleveled, we don't have enough focus to actually get uh, the correct critical hits. So we just fail instantly and take the uh, the zero. There's no plus three or anything. We just take the zero. But we still have it. It's written fail. Yeah, we still have the item. It's not broken or anything. Yeah. But we still can get uh, a really strong armor. And now I can zoom back to Octagonia. Oh, nice view. Um, yep. So I picked up the Seed of Life, I'm going to use it on Hero, equip uh, Dragon Scale and Dresden Harmor, and then go, go for the tournament. So the reward of... Dundra yeah. Salons also is really good, because it gives you a bit of mana, it yeah. lets you do an extra two uh, cutting edges as well. Yes. Very small. It makes the arena much nicer than doing Turtle Shell Strats with the Iron Mask, but um, you lose 40 seconds because you have to run from that well down back into the castle. So it's, it's a give and take. It's a give and take. Yeah. But it, it makes the first fight, essentially the first fight is uh, much more easier because in the first fight uh, we have uh, two, two enemies. All, it's always uh, two enemies and one of them summons shadows that deals a uh, little amount of damages, but with the Antle Shell, we don't have enough defense, and so we take like 8 or 10 damages per attack of the shadows, and since, uh, since he summons sh 3 shadows, we take a lot of damages. And with the Dredge yeah. and Armor, we take only 2 or 3 damages per attack, which is really good. Oh, you, you tell him, right there. Look at this guy. So we got seeded. We got seeded with the, uh, you know, the best person in the game, our best friend in the whole game. I don't have anything against this guy. I promise. The number of times he's not healed me and instead done just a regular attack. Thanks. And I've been two health and uh, on PB pace, doing really good and, uh, against Rabin Jade. About to kill them. I just need to be healed. I swear, I love this guy. Yeah, me too. It's a Vince. I, I swear, love to Vince. You're in Octagonia, in the Octagon, fighting against the goons. So, the end of the you can... can do a lot of crits. So we have to stay above uh, 68 HP to be safe. And we're hoping to see attacks on the Abominable Showman. He yeah. can do the clones, and we want to kill them before they pep, because their pep is uh, slow. I uh, but it doesn't look like that's gonna happen. Okay, they they pepped really early actually. Really early. So yeah, the animation is funny but really long, so we don't want to see that. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> and Vince isn't healing us. And this is why you love Vince. Yeah. Doesn't heal you when you're 20 health. Yeah. At least he did hardcore. To be fair, at yeah. least he did do hardcore. That was good. He did a good amount of damages. No. Oh, he, he finished! Wow, okay. He jumped him through the clone, that's insane. He, he, attacked, insane. he attacked the right target because Vince has no idea who is the right uh, showman. You uh, crit here. Oh, so, okay. nice. Yeah, I, I gridded a bit. I'm on range still, so I'm going to heal more. 
Yeah, that was a 67 damage. Yeah, that, if that hit, okay, that that hit you, that would have killed you. <laughs> good thing you healed as well. Yeah. That was a really fast fight. Overall, pretty good fight, actually. Yeah. We didn't skip the pet, but it was good still. You skipped the clones. Yeah, he didn't summon any any sh any clone, so it was really fast. And so yeah. Oh, Vince so Eric also entered. Yeah, but he got Eric. beat up. He got beat up by Jade. But who's Jade? Oh, mystery fighter. <laughs> so now we're walking around. We're learning about Vince's backstory. He uh, he fights, gets money for his orphanage. He loves the place. But uh, Vince is, uh, you know, he's juiced up on something, man. He's not, he's not right, you know. Yeah, he tried to like, attack us here. We just saw a bit of the cutscene. Yeah, he's a bit on edge, you know. Yeah. Ooh. Someone broke in and stole his stuff. What's going on? <coughs> Uh, yeah, I took already that magic water, what I'm doing. So now it's time to do the three uh, remaining fights. Pretty random. I would say this one is the most random. We want Cinderella to be out of MP before attacking. Else she's just going to spam mid ill and we're going to waste all MPs. I think it's still worth attacking, but it's much more risky because you can get one shot if she gets a double turn. Because that frizzle you were defending did 31 damage. Yeah. You're not defending, there's double that. It's very hard this fight. There's so much variance in the damage, you can't predict it. Like, Sis spam is fine. No, it's it's long. She takes time to waste the MP. It takes time to deplete MP. Yeah. Oh, nice block. It's not good, but it's uh, it's better than Sizzle, I think. Wow. Better than Frizzle, even. Well, Vince is tanking. Good jump, Vince. I can attack now. She's and now we just melt her. She takes so much damage. Oh, she had eight Almost. remaining. Just enough for uh, Frizzle, and now she's out. Yeah, now she's attacking because she's out of MP. Yeah. And she's dead. I usually go for the attacks and try to force her to mid heal instead, but uh, if I did that this fight, I would have died. Yeah. So, maybe defending is better, but you know. Yeah. Those guys went down really easily, thank god. It's. An easier fight if you defend, just longer, but yeah, you don't risk anything. Unless you get charmed by Rambelina and then Frizzle. And then you get one shot, yeah. So this fight's a bit rough. You kind of want to focus Golden Boy. He's got lower defense, but Sylvando can do something that makes him nearly invincible. Um, and we're kind of hoping he just doesn't do that. But Vince is kind of destroying Sylvando right now, actually. So, yeah. this is going to be an interesting one. While I'm getting blue eyes and I need to to heal every turn. I mean, I think maybe just nuke Sylvando. This is like, this is where the interesting bits of the arena can come in, where you have to work with what your NPC buddy's doing. But, uh, that's, really bad. that's what we don't want to see. We don't want to see him announcing his presence, especially not twice. Yeah, twice. Really. It basically improves his offense and defense by one. But he can do it twice, improve it by two, which is 50% boost. Uh, he takes no damage and does a lot. We are turn order, I'm going to defend. Yeah, it is. I don't like this fight at all. I think Sylvander is almost dead though. So are you. Yeah. I can finish This it. is the dicey bits. Can you heal me please? Ah, okay, no Star Best though, thank god. I need to save a bit of medicines because I'm, I'm getting a bit short. There we go. 
Fun fact, Not bad. Mining. Pretty good. Pretty good, actually. Well, I very use nice arena so far. I used a lot of medicines. That's the only problem. I hope I. How many do you have? Uh, three or four. Oh, dicey. Usually, there's like eight or seven left at this point. Yeah. And yeah, you do defend struts. Defend till the same as the Cinderella Rambolina, defend till Rav runs out of MP. I, I just because you know when he's on us. Oh, already here. Okay. Already. Uh, hmm. That's interesting. He's going to defend, to defend the pack. Very nice. Yeah, he's going to snooze next turn. Only took five. Wow. So I'm going to attack now. Yeah, what Rab and Jay do is fixed, so we know exactly what they're going to do when. Except for mid-heal for Rab. That's really bad. So, I'm dead. Yeah, this is going to be rough. You could die. Okay. Oh, nice, Vince! Up. Oh. That's what we want to see. <laughs> I mean, that's how easy it is to die. That was just a 50-50 of Jay attacking Vince, not you. Yeah. That's just that you could have just died then. And that's happened three times already, those 50-50s, I think. <laughs> it's, uh... Sometimes you have no control and you just lose. Yeah. And also well, you wake up pretty really fast. He slips again. Should defend. Let's track all else. It's a bit rough, but we'll see. If it's three remaining. You've got plenty of them, I think. They're gonna pep again <coughs> though, I think, in this fight. The rabs out. Are you pepped? Oh, this is kind of nice now, actually. Ouch. Ooh. Just need Vince to wake up, though. Yeah. Vince. Oh, wow, I... I think you're okay. They didn't give me a turn, what the hell? I think and Vince found it. Okay. But yeah, this fight's now clinical. That's pretty good arena, actually. That's... Yeah. Wow. That is uh, very smooth. Sad. Uh, as long as Jade doesn't do that. Oh. I, I thought she would die of one attack. I thought she was as well, actually. Yeah. But it's hard to always count correctly when they keep mid healing as well. Yeah. Nice hard claws as well. That was pretty good arena. Yeah. A surprise. I was. I was ready to like go get a cup of tea, like watch you die six times in a row, but you know, like <laughs> that's <laughs> that's. I wish I got those in my runs, you know. Yeah, but nothing can go perfectly good or perfectly wrong, so it's always a mix of bad and good things. I had the bad Jasper, bad crawls, but yeah, good arena, good early game. Let's see how goes the spider now. Yeah, this is. The last hard boss, honestly, because well, he can just there's he can do. First turn, yeah. also. First turn is just attacking daily, isn't it? Or is it something else? Or it's truly random. Is there anything scripted in this fight? Four. For the spider, is there anything spider scripted? Spider completely think. random. Completely random. Yeah, he can just he can do an AOE, reduces our defense. Uh, he can do a single attack. Can poison you. He can poison you, which can actually kill you as well. It's happened. He can uh, stun you in two different ways. He's got an AOE stun, sticky web, and he's got an AOE confusion. Uh, we actually, you can use either of those. Like we can fix confusion. Rab, we have Rab as an AI to like help us in this fight as well. But Rab is pretty useless. Yeah. He, his AI has some, has some priorities, like if we are low health and confused, he's going first to mid heal to, to heal us, and then he will care about the confusion later on. He, he focuses first on the, on the HP, or HPs, and then it's, well, sometimes he wants to heal poison instead of confusion, that's not so clear, but yeah. We know that mid heal is his priority. For the rest of for his spells, sometimes he does weird thing, weird thing. Like we can be 
like the the entire party can be purely confused and he's going to to cast Zam on the on the spider. So yeah. Yeah, nice run through the dungeon as well actually. Like it's a hard dungeon to get through quickly, but that was smooth. Thank you. Oh and this is uh believe it or not, this spider juice, this is where Vince is getting his juice. I'll kick it off. Okay. That's fine. And no one got stunned, okay. Let's use this from Rob because I'm going to. Yeah, because we have to hustle this. anyway. Yeah. Sorry, not hustle, dance. We have to omni heal at level 12. That's what we're doing here. Nice sap. Yeah. Ooh. Oh. I can swap out Veronica suddenly. I wanted to bring Serena to put some buffs, but I can't. I need to Home Fury first. Sylvando can also heal the Home This is... This is an okay fight so far, actually. Yeah. As long as Hero is not stunned. And he's stunned. But uh, it's actually going okay. Mm. This is... Uh, I'm like really nervous watching this, because I know how quickly this can go all the way down. Ah, Serena's stunned now as well, that's really bad. I got your back. This is bad because Hero has uh, defense down, so he can get one shot. What time do we Which is scary. Me, eh? I can't heal Eric for now. Nice block from Shiro. Hey, block, really nice. Okay, uh, that's interesting. Uh, let's heal Serena. Yeah. I'm just gonna heal instead of yeah. defodling. I hate this guy so much, Ron. So, this is getting really bad. This is so dicey. Uh huh, okay, yeah. bye Serena. She's dead. I didn't have any opportunity to. Uh, yeah, use there's her. nothing. I should unconfuse Salvando. It doesn't work. Oh, he just stole his mana. Yeah. Oh, it doesn't heal Salvando. This is going really bad. Hero might be dead here. Okay, that's okay. Ah, uh, yeah. It's terrible. So this is terrible. Yeah, I think I lost. I think fight. you can go for it with just these two, though, maybe. We just need to get through the fight. We don't care about any experience. Yeah. Because we have, we have the XP grind just after. But, I mean... I've gotten through this fight with only Eric before, so... I know Rab can definitely tank it up for you. Yeah. But, uh, it's very slow. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Bye, Savondo. Okay. <laughs> and he's dead. By hero. No. Oh, okay. That's, That's it. really bad. I think it's it's the end. <laughs> yeah, I think this is a, I think this is a yeah. Running it back. Now it's just how quickly he kills you. Oh, instantly. Okay. Yeah, that's. Oh, I, it's so hard. It's so hard. This fight. It can just do that. Okay, so we have to. Ah well. Do the dungeon again, and hope we will get a better fight. Mm -hmm. You can maybe get the Yggdras of Leaf as well, this time around, well, but I don't know if it's well. I don't like to. Because even in that fight, it wouldn't have helped you, really. You would have revived someone just for them to die instantly. Yeah, yeah that's it. So useless. So yeah, we have a 2D grind just after this fight, so... We don't care about who's dying in the fight, who's getting XP. We just don't care. We just need to pass the fight. We just need to survive. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You can always make back experience. I mean, you already have. Uh, this is... <coughs> this fight... I, I, I don't know. I've been minutes ahead and then lost it all in this fight. So many times. It's... Easily the last fight of the entire run. <coughs> Sorry. 
<coughs> I'm still a bit sick. <coughs> Sorry. Oh, come on. <sighs> we are both sick, actually. I've had a cough for like past week. <coughs> oh yeah, three weeks. <laughs> okay, not that bad. Yeah. So, round two. Uh, playing a bit safer this time with Serena, so very. Yeah, I'll try. Not bad. Good start. Good start. Because you can get the buffs out instantly now. It's right. a shame Veronica's confused and Rab didn't defuddle and he just bumped her. So then. Oh, very nice. Instant fuddle. Come on, Rab, you can do it. Rab, please. Thank you. Oh, that's what we're talking about. We love this guy now. He's our best friend in the game. But this is already a miles better start. We've got Hero buffed up, very safe, no one's confused. Sylvander's buffed up, very safe so far. Uh, we don't really care if the sisters die here. Ideally, we get a sap off. Mm, perfect, like, this is exactly what we want to see. Um, we just want the sap off and we want uh, poison and then we've got this fight in the bag, to be honest. And the sap, there's the sap. I think you've already done more damage to this guy than you did last time. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> and Veronica Peps here, perfect. Really, really nice. Nice, I got the poison. And poison, first try, wow. Wow, wow, like this is, this is what you want from the fight. Yeah. He's already half dead. I think, uh, like, this is good as well, as long as no one's confused. Ooh. That's a rough one. Oh, he doesn't default all. That's so bad. Yeah. Maybe this is still a... confused. Yeah, he's still befuddled. Come on, Rab. Default all. I'm out of MP also. For so someone, nice I, need to, I need to heal. I'm going to renew the sap. Doesn't work. Uh, Eric has a uh, magic water. I'm going to use it on Sylvando. I got this. this should be a one fight, even if people start dying now, okay. because he's still poisoned. I mean, beautiful. That's exactly what I want to see. What I'm doing. Ooh. That's a huge mistake. It's okay. I'm going to. That's okay. I was like, I'm fine. I can just go for it. No. I mean, you probably are still fine, actually. <laughs> you probably could just do that and you'll be fine. Oh, wow. Oh, that's a really good pep as well. Okay. Nice. Yeah, this is in the bag, thank god. This is exactly what you want to see from the fight. Very nice. No one's getting hit by the early stuff and the later stuff doesn't matter. So the, he's going to kill himself, basically. We don't yeah. really mind. Ideally, we keep the hero alive so he can maybe take one less fight. Oh, nice. In the, uh, How to finish I perfectly. Okay, perfect. And Beautiful. Damage. That was Beautiful. a fight, but sadly... That was so easy! Why yeah. do you have to die the first time for the yeah. second one to work? Why? I... I don't know. Really weird. What happened? I can't even remember. Yeah, I mean... That was beautiful. That was... There's no other, no other word. It's perfect. Just did a little mistake with... Hostile Dance, but... Yeah, it's fine. I didn't get finished, so yeah. Let's do this thing. So now we have. Ooh, now we're fighting with Vince. We don't love Vince anymore. We hit him. Wait, Vince is doing nothing. Yeah, completely useless. Vince is weak. <laughs> oh my! <laughs> get him out of there. But I'll just crit. So Vince no longer has his power up. He's awful. He feels like embarrassed that. He was carried by his superpower, so he lets us take the prize. But uh, both of them were stolen. Oh no! And that's a mysterious old man yeah. stole both our prizes. And that's a prize we really, really need because it's the rainbow and an orb. That's the reward of winning the tournament. So we need to get it back. And Rab asked, uh, asked us to go to Dundrazil Runes to meet him. This is uh, where we learn all the backstory 
We're the Prince of Dundrazil. Yeah. Uh, Rab is our grandfather. And, and um, we were the Prince of Dundrazil. Yeah. And so, yeah. We learned everything. Yeah. So, all parents die during uh, the attack of the of monsters. And so we fled with uh, Jade, who is actually the princess of Yolodor, the, the daughter of uh, King Cornel Cornelian, who uh, put us in jail. But she isn't bad like uh, her father. She's, uh, she's on our side. So Rab and Jade are going to be for the new two party members. And since we are really low level, they will have a, there will be a little difference of levels since party member members join the join the party at uh, always the same level. They will be level 23, while we are level 14. <laughs> so yeah, nine level of difference. Just that. So there's a bit of cutscene where we do some kind of ceremony to help the dead to to go to the egg drizzle. Yeah, so we're still getting hunted down by the two uh, generals, Jasper and Hendrik. And um, now we've got Jade on our side, Princess of Heliodor. They uh, are, uh, at least Hendrik is a bit more hesitant to chase us down. We're getting out of there, surviving, and um, going for a bit of a grind. We then unlock the rest of the world, but we don't really care about the rest of the world, do we? You know, we don't have to go no. to anywhere else. We just go outside the world, more like. Yeah, we go outside the world. It's pretty nice, but too much outside, I would say. <laughs> <laughs> I think the um. What was I going to say? I completely forgot. I was going to say something. I completely forgot. That's <laughs> I've got a short-term memory loss. It's fine. You will. You will remember. So I, I won't remember. I'm just going to say something else. <laughs> so now we head to Puerto Valor because we need to open the gates that leads to the open sea. And once we will open the gates, um, a new chapter will start in the game. Like it's. Uh, how the game works is uh, by sh chapters, and when we want to switch to a uh, 2D mode or go back to 3D mode, we have to go back at the beginning of a chapter. So to not lose all or all the of all, all the things we we've done in the arena, we need to unlock a new chapter, which starts when we open the gates. So that's why we 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 do a bit of story here. Yeah, it's a really nice way as well. And everything in the world respawns when you change. The game is really weird with 2D to 3D. It will take away items you shouldn't have and give you items you shouldn't have as well, or that you haven't gotten yet. And so using this 2D to 3D as well, we can pick up chests that we've already got. If you need extra gold or you need extra seeds, which is actually a method to do the all draconian quest speedrun is yeah. you 2d 3d and get hundreds of seeds of defense and strength and life to just live uh, really early in the game and you end up being like level seven or something with 90 health which is more health than we've got now <laughs> yeah so there's uh there's things you can do you can max out your stats being level three you know <laughs> it's, it's uh, funny. it is interesting I don't know if you're picking up any of those items right now. No, I don't. Just zoom to the campsite now to switch to to the mood. And all the quick rectifications, more skill point trees. Yep. We've got quite a few of those. When you get these menus down, they look smooth, but they um, there's a lot of menuing coming up in the next couple uh, minutes. 
It's getting everyone in order, getting everyone with the right equipment, using the different pet powers, getting everyone, because uh, Eric and not Eric, Jade and Rab are the highest level, but they also have the best equipment equipped. So we move it around. By moving it around, they're like kind of naked, but um, everyone else is actually sufficiently strong then. You know? We then also want to get heroes rectified back to swords to get Metal Slash, which he needs level 15 for, but he's 14, so he'll get it in a moment when we get the first Metal Slime kills. Uh, we'll get Jade Multi Thrust, or Lightning Thrust, I'm not sure which way you do it, either way is fine. And Eric to get Metal Liquor, Boomerang skill. So we are using boomerangs for a little bit, which everyone seems to love. But honestly, everything in this game kind of works really nicely. Um, we use everything, to be honest, or almost every character that we actually use for damage. I think, I think Eric uses boomerangs, swords, and knives. Uh, Hero uses swords and great swords. I think uh, Rad uses starves, so but mostly just claws, doesn't. Yeah, we don't learn Jay any. Uses spears. We don't learn any any staff. Uh, yeah. Staff ability. All mages doesn't don't learn a lot of abilities, basically. Yeah, I think we'll we'll leave the mages with their magic. Yeah, that they are learned by leveling up. So, uh, Jade is going to learn Lightning Trust, so I need this. So, manuring uh, the skills is faster in, in QD, that's why I'm doing it now. Yeah, they instantly pop open instead of having the little, uh, like, one by one motion. But I'm not, I haven't memorized these menus, so I'll just keep doing it in 3D until I do, which will be never. I got to rectify Eric. Ah. Knives. Wait. So by learning um, Metal Leaker and uh, Metal Slash to Hero, um, we unlock a new pep power called uh, Metal Midley. It will be useful to kill metal enemies. And this is a uh, reason we go, we go to Galopolis, is because you can find a random mess or slime here. Uh, that's it, you go somewhere, it doesn't really matter where. And also the enemies are weak. But we just defend until we get the peps, and then we'll use the peps. So pep power uh, is coming really fast in, uh, in 2D mode, you won't see. It's called Electrolyte. We're hoping we've got a 75% chance to see Metal Slimes and a 25% chance to see Robots. We do not want to see the Hunter Mets. They're really strong. They do a lot of damage. They can kill us. We don't really care if they kill us, but we kind of just want to see Metal Slimes get... And if you know anything about Dragon Quest, Metal Slimes give a lot of experience. So much so that I think within five fights we can get from this level 14 to level 25 which is where we want to be okay let's see first electrolyte so pep powers are are going first always nice. in uh, in 2d so that's a re really cool advantage so we can kill metal slimes before uh, before they flee because they really like to flee they didn't. Ah, but they all stayed. Wow. And nice. Metal Liquor kills them all. That's a really, really nice start. Nice. Getting nice this start. first fight out of the way is really good. I can learn... Uh, I can learn Metal Slash now. Are you going to be using Hallelujah or just going for the... Uh, uh, the hallelujah. No. I don't use it for the first fight because it is too inconsistent. Because yeah. you don't guarantee killing them all. Yeah. But now we have Metal Slash on Hero and... Um, and uh, Metal Liquor with Eric, we have the Pep Power uh, Metal Midley, which will guarantee yeah. us to kill every um, Metal Slime when, they, when we summon them. On first turn, we can all kill them, which is really good. They don't get any opportunity to flee. Yeah. 
I'd like Chimeras to flee. I also am going to flee because they like to flee and if I use uh, Hallelujah and then they flee, I just wasted uh, that power in all nothing. Yep, and Hallelujah is another pet power. It increases the experience and rare drop chance. So you basically guarantee getting rare drops from these enemies. Uh, that's Seeds of Life and Happy Hats from Liquid Metal Slimes and Metal Slimes, respectively. And um, it's increased by either 1.5, 2, 2.5, or 3 times experience. And obviously you want the 3x experience, and it's not really worth doing for the 1.5. But it's not because it's an extra pet power, it takes the same amount of time, it's two electrolytes sort of thing. So we want at least 2x, ideally 3x, and 2.5 is good as well, but we don't want the 1.5 times. And it's managing your experience and how you get through this, uh, and knowing when to go for the extra fight and when to just leave and take the forced encounters in the ocean, if you want to do it that way, how to do those sorts of things. It's a kind of an interesting on-the-fly routing idea you can do. But we want level 25 with Sylvando. And Hero. Level 24 also. with Hero is okay. Well, I think you can keep 24 and then get the rectification after. Yeah, times, but... it's slower, but yeah, it's faster it's... than doing an extra fight. Yeah, exactly. I need Jade to pep up. Oh. Then we go for... Electrolytes. Electrolytes. There's a there's a lot of dice rolls. There's yeah. already the like seventy five percent chance of getting the metals, and then there's the uh, and then there's the also hallelujah dice roll as well. Yeah. So I just wasted two pet powers for nothing. That's that's the grind part. Like really RNG. That is the grind part. In a good speed run. It's about a 15 to 20% chance to get through the grind. Well, well. And um, if you don't, the run's kind of dead. So it's kind of brutal to play for an hour and a half to two hours, and then the run be dead because you didn't pass the 15, 20% chance. But uh, that's the JRPG for you. Yeah. Unfortunately. In a marathon, it's just an extra minute. You know, we don't care. We've already yeah, died to okay. Spider and Jasper and had to run through the dungeons. Yeah. Again. But uh, we've also crit Smogs, crit Griffins, crit Vince. So... <laughs> yeah, this is so dumb. <laughs> okay. Jaden Hero doesn't want to pep. This is the relaxing bit. Yep. Hello, yeah. As long as you're not playing and you have to mash through everything, sitting back, relaxing. That's nice to be a spectator. Yeah, you can chill out during the grind. A bit low with Serena and Jade. It should be fine. It doesn't matter. If Serena dies, it doesn't matter at all, does it? Yeah. I think uh, this is the last time in an any percent run. This is the last time we would uh, see Veronica as well, actually. Yeah. She's no longer useful for the spider. It's cast Sap on the spider and she's gone out of the run. Nice crits. Uh, in, uh, in true end, you will definitely see her again. Yeah. She's really important. Every character is important for trending part. I got. I th well, average roll, I, I would think say. Maybe enough for liquids. I don't know, yeah. That's the. That's what I'm wondering. I think that's enough, but I'm not sure. Is it average level of your party, or is it just like. Yeah, average level of the party. Yeah. I think maybe Eric needed a. Maybe we Based can do it. Based on the fact that everyone's lived through everything. Maybe we can do it in one one fight. If we get a good Hallelujah roll, 
we can Boom. get to level 25 in one fight. I don't think Hero will. I think Sylvando might. I think you might be like 1,000 experience off of Hero. Yeah. But you can, because if this is... If what we're thinking is right, we should be getting liquid metal slimes now as well, which are a lot more experienced than just the regular metals. But that's the volatility of a grind. It's just... Uh... Yeah, it can be really long if you get trolled. Usually it doesn't take more than 10, 10 minutes. So I put uh, always the Vando back on the back line to, so he doesn't lose Pep. And then I can build up more Pep on Jade, Hero and Eric. To have all my, uh, all my Pep powers ready. Crossing fingers. Nice. Okay, so for a good roll. Is it enough? That's a good roll? Yeah, 26. That's overshooting it, beautiful. Yeah. That's the max roll you can get, that's the times three we're looking for. Let's go. Because usually it's about 10,000 for a liquid, 2,000 for a metal, and you got 46,000. So that's basically the 14 by three. Roughly speaking, there's a little bit more than that. It's like 10,500 or so. And like 2,100 or something. But that's the times three roll we're talking about. You get one of those and it's just done. It's incredible. Um, honestly, still a pretty good grind, actually. Yeah. Only one failed fight, a really good roll in the liquid metal. That's average, I would say. Well, that's average for you? For me, it is. it's a good fight. It's a good grind. Yeah. <laughs> oh. It was a rage and uh, the last uh, Hallelujah roll made it made it really really good. So I picked up a bit uh, a bit of gold, the same concrete earrings that I got in 3D, but the chest resetted, so that's why I can get it again. I'm going to rectify again my skills. So. Uh, Silvando learned uh, already Gold Rush, which is really broken. Uh, Hero is, going, rush is so to, going to learn some strength and then Giga Slash. So yeah, Silvando now, not only did he get Omni Heal instantly in the game, now he also gets a pay, massive pay bomb to win. where he can throw money. Literally pay to win, yeah. A thousand gold for 300 damage to everything. That skill does not drop off throughout the entire game. Uh, you keep using it until nearly the very end. So, so useful. So now we're just skilling everyone up, getting everything perfect uh, for the next set of fights. We've got a very interesting moment coming up where we don't technically have to do something, but we do it to save more time later. So, do you want to go over the outbounds or your meeting? The sequence breaking. Yeah, you can, you can explain. So we've got a small out of bounds we could do. It's very easy to go out of bounds in this game. Uh, any place there is a loading trigger, you can go out of bounds. All you need is a horse, and a mouse, that's it. Um, mouse meaning computer mouse, not a little mouse like Munchie from DQ8. <laughs> so, with a high enough DPI, you can spin the horse into the wall and bypass the loading trigger, thus going out of bounds at any point. Um, a lot of maps are kind of useless to do it on, but you can do it on almost every map. Uh, but there's a really useful one to do it on, and we can basically skip one third of the game by uh, spinning out balance, which is why we needed to grind these levels, because we are not going to go to Phenomenon. We are not going to...
go to Sniffleheim. We are not going to go talk to anyone we care about, but we are going to fight Tentacula and do the Minor Mermaid quest. Even though we don't technically have to, because we will get something. That is a very good item. So instead of just going out of bounds right now and continuing the game and going straight to the second act, we're going to fight a squid boss tentacular, go through the mermaid quests with uh, Michelle, and get the harp. Then later on in Act 2, she's still going to be there in her Act 1 form. And we're going to get the harp that we shouldn't have had because we should have lost it. So we're using one important item to kind of bypass losing a second important item that we can use later in the game. Which is a bit confusing, but uh, yeah, it's uh, very, very, very good. And we skip about 10 bosses, I think. Yeah, that's it. Uh, nine. Yeah, nine. Nine. That's a lot. And some of them are very difficult. So it's very, very nice. Very, very nice. So I think uh, first of all, we're going to go out of bounds, get a save point at the Yggdrasil, and then we're going to go back, get the harp, instead of just progressing the game. And um, that's the end of it. The harp, sorry, the wedding veil. We use yeah. the wedding veil. This is the key item. That, that she gives us the harp, yeah. yeah. I always get the items confused. Yeah, that's the key item that we bring with us to Act 2. Yeah, so it's a massive sequence break. It's really, really nice. But because of True End, there's some more interesting things that go into it. Yeah. Because of uh, the sort of time travel that happens in this game. Yeah. So it's uh, it can be pretty rough. I um I don't know how you're doing the. I don't know if you're gonna go visit Arboria to save your levels or anything. I can't. <laughs> Oh, it doesn't work at all, okay. No, uh, the game saves your levels uh, only when you give the the orbs to the priests. And ah, since we, that's when it does it. Since we will we never, don't have the orbs. Yeah, we will never collect the orbs, so the game won't save I all levels. Thought, I still thought it was when you entered up for I had no idea. No. So, here we are. It all... Autobahn section. Yep. This is actually a very easy uh, sort of glitch to do. It's not hard at all. You can kind of talk someone through it and they can just do it. I think anyone watching could just go do it. Um, it's done. We are now out of bounds. We should not be here. The map may deload at any moment and we will fall to the abyss and have to give it another go. But uh, no, nah, all worked perfect for you. And now we're just running around, skipping out on uh, some triggers. We basically don't go to Arborea. And we're not locked through anything. We can now just go straight to the world tree. And the game thinks it's we fine. should have the orbs. They think, oh yeah, this is this is fine. No, this is fine. Not they should have the orbs, so we're allowed to be here, because you're not allowed to get here without the orbs. So how did you get here? Oh, well, whatever. And we'll that's, uh, that's why we're grinding levels. Because now we don't get the levels naturally from fighting other bosses. Yeah. We um we needed those extra levels, and we can breeze through the early uh, early bosses of the second act. But after this little dungeon run through the first forest, we um need to just get the wedding veil for Michelle, and she will be there in Act Two when she should not be there in Act Two, and will give us the harp, which we should not be able to get from her. And it's going to be uh, very beautiful. It basically means we can skip out on getting a character later in Act 2. Yeah, sadly we will skip. Well, should we spoil now? <laughs> Who is going to be skipped? But yeah, we'll find out. Yeah. I'm not going to spoil it. No. Let's not. Um, so the funny but thing fortunately is that... You know, the funny thing is that when we arrive at the top of the first forest, 
the cutscene shows that we have the orbs, like, the game doesn't care. <laughs> the game does not care, yeah. yeah. Oh, look, we used the six orbs to go to the Yggdrasil. Yeah, yeah, it works. Good job. Yeah. What's also funny, actually, is because you're in Act 2 when you're meant to have these characters, but you don't have them, you don't see them in the cutscenes. Yeah, but they still talk. Um, but they still talk, they're just invisible. Yeah. There's some very interesting things you can do by skipping bosses in this game and skipping characters. Um, very, very interesting things you can do. I mean, there's a cutscene that you can get to and they're talking through it, but the main character is invisible. Uh, not the hero, Serena is the main character in this cutscene. And uh, if you skip the cutscene, the game crashes and there's nothing you can do to fix it. Yeah. So we are. So you have to watch the entire cutscene. And, <laughs> and it makes no sense why the game crashes. Yeah. And in this cutscene, Serena is invisible, but she has the staff of. She holds the staff of Veronica. So we just see a. a, a <laughs> it's just a, flying, it's a ghost yeah. sir. That's it. So funny. But we don't have to do that in this one. We don't have to watch any cutscenes in this game, thankfully. Yeah. So I zoom back to the strand and we're going to head to Lona Lulu. So we've got the Yggdrasil zoom point now. The only reason we headed up there, so we can zoom straight back there. Yeah. And funnily enough, the reason why we go out of bounds first and run up there and waste the menu to zoom is because there's almost a forced encounter. If you go at night, and if you go fight the squid boss first, it will be night time after you kill them, and you go back to the strand and use the boat to move upwards, you'll get into another squid fight. Yeah. With a king squid, almost yeah. guaranteed. Because uh, holy water uh, rejects uh, enemies that are not, that are the level or higher than the hero levels. So, Shiro is level 25, so he, he rejects uh, every enemies except the King Squid that show up uh, at night. Yeah, it's kind of... It's such a small thing, but when you lose 60 seconds to getting into a fight and you can't flee, yeah. and you just think, why is this happening? It's just... I don't know, it's always funny to think, like, oh, I do an extra menu here to save 60 seconds from a random encounter that, like, shouldn't exist but it does well it's the cool thing the cool thing about uh, holy water is that we can refresh it while it's still active it's not not like uh, the repairs in pokemon for instance so that was uh, that's what i did when i was at the half of uh, my way to lenalulu i just used again another uh, holy water so i don't have the text uh, holy water runs out Showing off, so it saves a bit minor time. time saves. Yeah, it's it's funny, right? It's only like one second, but if it's free, why don't you do it? You know? Yeah. Is it's so it's so funny. There's every single speed run will have things like that, like tiny things that just save one second, but you have to do them, you know. So in this town we can grab a cannon. Yeah, that's what it's called. It's a cannon, I guess. Yep. Um, that uh, will weaken the tentacular to make the fight easier. However, we are high level enough to to kill the boss easily. So we are going, we we skipped it and uh, we just head straight to the fight. This guy's a breeze. He's a pushover. We uh, we don't even heal. We just kill him, really. I think. Um. Yeah, it's just pretty easy fight. Oh, look at this! Three hundred damage to everything. Oh, that's uh, wow. That's fair. Wait. For the low, low cost of one thousand gold, it's a good thing there was a chest. Three thousand gold that you picked up. This is a breeze. The next few fights after this, not so much a breeze, but we've got a massive section. Uh, we call them scenarios, they're kind of like an interlude. 
it describes what happens after the next big story point, which is the world tree falling. And every character has their own little backstory. We know what happens to them all. But we actively play through the hero's backstory. We play through them all, I guess, don't we, now? I mean, this is a breeze. We help them kill the thing. We know that Michelle's looking for Kai, Fisherman Kai. Uh, but it turns out he has passed away, and we instead talk to his grandson. And his grandson shows us uh, the story behind the mermaids being evil and why this village hates mermaids. But we don't care about the story, we just want the veil. Yeah, that's it. Let's grab the veil and then go to Act 2. So there's a bit of walking to reach the secret pitch uh, at the at the north of the village. This really is where, getting our steps in here. Yeah, this is where we should have the final cutscene of the of this story, but we are going to to skip it. Well, it's optional actually because <laughs> in Act Two, so. As normally it's in Act 1 that we finish the story, but we all finish it in Act 2. And we have the choice to either lie or say the truth to Michel. So we say, we can say he's going, Kai is, going, is coming soon, which is a lie. Or just say the truth and say that he's dead. And so we are going to, to lie. Because... Do not say the truth if you're in a speedrun. Yeah. It will kill the run. Yeah, that kills. Have run. you seen what happens? Yeah, we we have no choice actually for this uh, this run because, yeah, normally it's if we do that in glitchless, we just lose a few minutes because there are extra cutscenes. But in oh no, you lose way more than that. But in you can't zoom anymore if you do that. Or, it doesn't yeah, you. I was talking for um, glitchless. If you do the mistake to, oh, to yeah, say the truth in glitchless, glitchless, it's okay, but. For the glitched run, yeah, it's a disaster because you soft lock yourself in in uh, Lona Lulu. It's you have to go back. You have to like start doing a glitchless run and uh, fight the bosses yeah. that you should have been able to skip. It's you can no longer zoom anywhere. You can't do anything. It's very unfortunate. Oh, we're fighting Jasper. He's got evil dark powers. How do you get those? Good question. So he is inv invincible, actually. He cannot be attacked. He's immune to all sources sources of damages. So we just have to defend for three turns until the script triggers and we we not really die, but yeah, we are out of the fight. And but who is that evil horn guy? Oh, who is it? Good question. So we always get the casting. We don't care. We enter Act 2. So, the, this bad guy was Maldigan. He stole the power of the luminary and used it to steal the Swirl of Light. And now he, he created his, his forced rest of fear. He, there's a. I don't know if we can, we can see it here. No. Well. Well, we will see later his fortress in the sky. So it's now... a pretty, it's a pretty sweet crib. I'm not gonna lie, I am jealous. <laughs> but uh... so now we start yeah, very fun part of the run. Yeah, we start the scenarios where we control uh, a few characters. So starting by Silvando, who wants to, who wants to make uh, to make everyone smile. So to do that, we are going to th throw money on enemies. That's the way to make people smile, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually... Watch you out. do do that. You throw this money at oh. these guys and then they start following you. They didn't smile, <laughs> but yeah, they are dead. So now those guys want uh, to help us, to help people. 
So we have uh, three new party members that are going to follow us. So they are hosts. Again. And yeah, they are not really important. Because we are going to mostly walk to cities <coughs> to, uh, to help people. And uh, there's only one fight in this, uh, in this scenario. The Gigantes. Which can be dangerous if it goes really wrong, but should be a free, fire, free fight thanks to Gold Rush. I equipped, um, not equipped, I gave uh, to Silvando a coin that uh, can be sold for 1000 gold. So yeah, I can and that's because there's a minor boss fight coming up. I can use one more Gold Rush thanks to that actually kind of essential or you very likely will die uh, or take a very long time I think it's pretty it's pretty funny think about it right it's such a minor thing that we picked up like 40 minutes ago but it saves just 30 seconds here yeah there's so many small things like that it's just typical RPG run where there's just you know you pick something up at the start and it's still useful We always find something useful. So yeah, that's uh, we can call that the boring part, because <laughs> you we just run. We have to, we cannot even get the horse. So we have to to just run. Painting cool, yeah. We have to run to get Opalis. <coughs> Turns out he is the best cross country runner in Erdria. Actually, it's uh, I don't know how. But you know, he just he just is the best. Yeah. I've never seen anyone else do this. Well, yeah, he rode to the horse, so yeah, that's different. This is a pretty relaxing bit. There's nothing too much about these next few areas. It's just backstory um, yeah. each of the characters. And a few Very good scenes nice. that Very we cool. we cannot skip well that those are not real cutscenes, but yeah, some uh, dialogues with NPCs that we cannot skip, so we have to, to mash through the text boxes. And we have more yeah, running. Just solid movement saves time here, that's pretty much it. Uh, Parting every corner possible, dodging every enemy. This Hammerwood wanted to, to say hi to the stream, I guess. <laughs> it so did. Yeah. So we arrive to Galopolis, where um, um, a minstrel wants to organize uh, the last uh, event of the at the circus because, like, everyone is sad, so he wants to do one performance, and he's looking for people to. To how to say um, to show up now. I don't have the will. Help me, Dawi. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> no, I, I was thinking. Oh my god. They they mean? participate. They at the circus. They perform. Yeah, perform exactly. Thank you. Oh okay okay. Uh, you said performers, and I was like okay. Do you... Yeah. Okay. So we are looking for performers in the in the city. So we have this. Uh, uh, this first guy with the uh, what's it called? Oh my god, my vocabulary, <laughs> terrible. The drums, the drums. Yeah, exactly. So the drummer. We have this uh, juggler, which is uh, also a fortune teller, and he asks us to choose a ball to see if it's his destiny to to um, to join the circus, and it's a really friendly. Thing because we just have to mash A, it's always the first ball that is the, the right one. Yeah, thank god. The other options are actually wrong, so if you choose the wrong ones, you will be like, oh sorry, that's uh, that's not my destiny then. Yeah, but that's we can talk ball. to him again. And, uh, so I'm selling the Sovereign for 1000 gold, so I have one more gold rush can, that can be used. And it takes like three gold rush to 
to kill the Gigantes, so it's just perfect to have this this coin to sell. Yeah, so now, such a nice thing. yeah. So now that the circus uh, appear happened, we had to how to to uh, see a guy that we don't see anymore. I think this this character has been created for the scenario. Like his name is Tetsu. He made some some uh, well weapons. Not weapons, yeah, some kind of weapons for Salvando and his uh, <laughs> his allies. But uh, yeah, we don't see him anymore. Like we, when we arrive to Otto, there's a last cutscene, and then during the Act Two, we don't see him anymore. I I looked for him uh, casually uh, in my casual like, gameplay to see where <laughs> where he lives in Otto, but I could not find him. Like he disappeared. So weird. It's kind of a bit weird seeing the game go backwards in a way, you know? Yeah. Because you start, obviously, in the main story, we start off in Hotto, go to Galopolis, go to Gondolia, but now we're starting Gondolia running back around. Which is kind of a interesting moment. And you can fight all these enemies, and you've got your big crew of people you've picked up to help you fight them. But it's slow, so we don't. So we can see the Gigantes who stole food to uh, villagers. So we have to fight him to get, uh, give them back uh, the food. So he will just spam Gold Rush and hope we don't de don't get uh, knocked down by uh, um, uh, what's the name already? Krakow. Hmm. Thank you. And I got knocked down. I, go. I jinxed myself, actually. <laughs> it's always like that. You can die to this guy as well. Yeah. If he double attacks Sylvando. Okay, you should be okay, but maybe... It's possible to die here. Oh, okay. That's always scary. Yeah, really. But he died with the stair gold. I'm always so scared of this guy, man. One day, like, he has only ever killed me once before, but, like, every single time it's gonna happen. I just think. Yeah. I, I lost already twice world record paces when I was running on Switch <laughs> to this. Like, I was 10 minutes ahead of my PB, and this guy just runs my best pace ever twice in a row. <laughs> that is. Very rough. Yeah. It's not common, but um, very possible. Yeah. So now it's time for Jade's uh, Jade scenarios. Beautiful. This is the only break. Yeah. I get to go for a toilet break. I don't. I don't know if you get to. Uh, I don't think you've got time. Well. I don't think I will have time because I'm not at, at home, so my toilets are not <laughs> at uh, two meters of me. <laughs> so I love being at home. It's fine. I don't need a break for now. It's quicker not to, to keep mashing through all the text anyway. But um, yeah, this is uh, another sort of boss fight, similar way. But we get a very overpowered armor. And the fights play itself. Yeah. So we just whip out tactics and just let it do itself, really. Because this costume that uh, Jade is wearing revives her each time she dies, and it it also restores her MPs. So she had infinite resources actually. So we have nothing to do. There's, there's just one fight where we use uh, two rock bombs shards that I'm going to put on in our inventory. And that speeds up the fight a little bit against the two um, groups of Six gremlins, enemies. I don't know what they're called. Yeah. Six enemies. Like so. snit bonkos or something. Yeah, I don't remember their name. 
yeah, six tiny enemies that instead of attacking them with multi trusts, we can just throw a rock bomb child to two shot them. This is these are a breeze. Uh, because we have no we have no threat dying. It's so nice. So usually you want to die on this fight. So um a little cutscene procs. There's a, there's a little text box that appears and so all the first uh, the first revive. And once you, you've passed... Oh, my bad. I have to change the tactics. Oh, I'm dead. So see, there is a little text box here to revive Jade. And once this text box happens, the next death are going to revive, revive her instantly. Which gives us the opportunity to have a good bathroom break on the next fight. Smog bonnets and soot bonnets. That's that's just a beautiful name. <laughs> Whoever came up with these names is just a genius. The name of the monsters in this game is just so good. So much puns. <laughs> Not only monsters, like everything. It's just so good. Okay. So usually I just go to the bathroom, get my bathroom break. I'm just going to drink a bit of water. I actually, I actually will go because I, I can't. Oh, I'm gone. We'll be back in a moment. No problem. So as you can see, uh, a few arena fighters joined Jade in the battle. The most useful is Cinderella because she can cast Oomphal um, and mid heal. So it's written Oomph, but it's actually Oomphal. As you can see, we we get a, uh, an attack uh, boost by plus two, which is Oomphal. Um, she can also cast Casap, which is really good. Nice. And we don't want to die when we have Umfall on because we lose it. It's it's still good to die a bit to restore our MPs, but yeah, if we keep dying and losing Umfall, it can be really long. So that's Jade scenario. And now it's time for Eric's scenario, which requires uh, a bit more of brain, but not too much. I'm here, I promise I wasn't late. I promise. I didn't lose time. No, not at all. <laughs> never, never. Always optimal. So we builded Eric. We built uh, Eric with knives before going into Act Two. So he's going to use two knives in his scenario. He has du dual wielding now, so it means he can uh, equ equip two weapons if it's, if it's the same type, of course. He cannot uh, hold a sword and a knife. It's, it's not possible. But he can uh, he can equip. Two, two knives. So we equip the knife we just got. Uh, the knife we, equip we, the knife, we just yeah. bind. Yeah, sorry, sorry. The the knife we we have uh, can paralyze the targets. It's like a seven percent of chance to happen, and it's some kind of bad because we are using sleeping strats to pass the next fights. But I learned uh, 
<coughs> and move that recovers from paralysis, which is called victimizer. <coughs> oh, is that why you got victimizer? Because usually I would go for the agility to go first. Oh, okay. But I guess if you got victimizer, then that works as well, just to be honest. Because if yeah. you do get paralyzed, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Because we, we use Sleep R8 to put uh, the target asleep. And then we finish it with um, Persecutor, which is a move that deals uh, six times the usual damages if the target is asleep. And so there's the same move for Paralysis and Poison, which is Victimizer. So I replace uh, um, Persecutor by Victimizer if I paralyze the target instead of putting it to sleep. That's, uh, that's the backup. So we progress through, through this dungeon that we will never see again. That's a scenario exclusive dungeon. It's pretty smooth. These fights can also kill you if you get unlucky. Um, but you do need to get unlucky and you can play around it. You do have to win these fights, you can't just die, unfortunately. It would be much easier if you could just die to all three of them. But those, uh, those goblins, they can counter-attack. And if they power up and keep counter-attacking, you will die. <laughs> and yeah. there is nothing you can do. That's why you want to um, have a second weapon, because if he blocks he blocks one hit, he cannot counter-attack. He needs to block the two hits to counter-attack. So that's why uh, dual bleeding is really useful for this scenario. Also gives a bit more of damages, but the main reason is to be safe to not get counter-attacked by uh, the goblins. Very nice. That's basically what we want to see from all of them, just dying in one hit. Yeah. I don't have the dragon scale on Eric, so I cannot kill the dragon in one one hit. But yeah, I prefer to let the dragon scale on hero for his uh, scenario. Well, his scenario for the beginning of Act Two, because he is going to be alone. But thanks God, we have a uh, uh, um, heal slime with us. That is going to heal Eric. Not just, not oh. just any heal slime, man, it's Healy. Elijah, I think that's his name. Oh, and this one's Elijah. This one doesn't want to sleep. Took three hits. Right, this last one can't really kill you too much. So. Unless you miss the sleep a lot. And you get it. I think then you just defend. I think it's okay. Yeah. Because uh... he's like Jarvis, he likes to do a deep breath. Two double his um, damages. But yeah, he's dead. Nice crit. The number of, cr of crits in this run is insane. Crits are like 2% chance, 1% chance. They're yeah. not. <laughs> they're not gone. Um, four percent because I have boosts in knives. Ah, oh, you got the boost. Yeah. 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 So it's like five percent. Yeah. Because it's it's a boost of four percent, and you have one percent of natural critical hits. It's maybe two percent. I don't know, but whatever. I think it depends on your depth. Yeah, it depends on the deafness. So. I don't know the exact like ratios. But yeah, we picked up the agility ring, another item we will use. For the rest of the run. Yeah. Really useful when we want uh, specific turn orders. So for this fight, we can just die. It's fine. That's the fastest way to win, and I kill one enemy with a crit. So damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. Like. <laughs> Yeah, five percent chance. Let me just do it four times in a row. It's fine. Yeah, no yeah, problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That sounds good. That sounds good. Yep. So yep. for this fight, we have to defend until the scripts, uh, the script triggers. 
so we just have to survive uh, 12 turns, I think, or 10. I'm not sure, but I do know you can kill this guy, and that speeds it up, but we are too low level to do yeah, that. Yeah, that's the problem. He will kill us. We only heal like 40% of the health, um, and 10% of our mana, and uh, he does too much damage, he out damages that, so we just defend through it instead. Because if he kills you, you have to go through everything again as well. At least until the last auto save. Last you, scenario. You end up. Uh, oh, last one, Rabs. Oh, we all love Rabs. Rabs is yeah. the best scenario. Of course. Mm. Might uh, you might think it's the best because of Bonnie Girls, but no, it's actually the best because it's the shortest and the fastest. Yeah. The true speed run away forward. So we are in the real Dunderzel Castle, so you can see how it looks. Beautiful castle. And so yeah, nice Rab, Rab is actually in the in the realm of dreams. So yeah, he's just dreaming. He had vision of the past. He see uh, Erwin, the king. And uh, he tells him that he's going to that hero is going to to born soon. So yeah, he's he's dreaming of the past, and later on he will dream of uh, an altered, I would say, version of the of the of the present. Yeah, we don't know how he got here. We just know that he's here. We God. chase this uh, rabbit girl because Rab wants to do it, of course. Yeah, Rab has a, an affinity for um, Pony Girl magazines. Uh, one is actually an item you can get. It's uh, it's an alright accessory that increases your pep chance. Hey, watch! He's, it's uh, ESA as little, <laughs> little ESA. That's, uh, that's what the future could have been. Clearly it wasn't, because we've already <laughs> seen the hero at that age, and it was in Cobblestone Creek. Yeah. So... Let's now who's this? It's Grandmaster, Grandmaster Pang. Pang. That's the one who puts Rab in the Realm of Dreams to test him, to see if he remembers what's the truth and what's fake. And so now he decides to he decides to train, but as you can see, he's really bad. So we are going to say to the grandmaster that we give up, and that's the end of the scenario. Yeah, the naughty stick is too powerful. Yeah. Funnily enough, you actually can win that fight as well. We are just, uh, you know, we gave everything that Rab had on him, all his armor, to uh, Eric and Silvando. So, um, you know, he's he's pretty weak in comparison, but you can win that fight in a standard playthrough, to be honest. It's a relatively interesting fight. A hero became now fish. God. Why, we don't know, but he is a fish. And so we can swim and get this chest uh, containing uh, Zombie's Bane. Really good weapon that we're going to use. Really, really good weapon. Something about this game is um, a lot of weapon. A lot of the time, the game gives you items just before you need them. So, for instance, in uh, Gondolia, just before you fight Jasper, you'll get a fizzle reducing necklace um, hidden away in the chest. And that's because Jasper casts fizzle. Just before Spider, Ractagon, you'll get a confusion reducing necklace because he casts confuse. Now we're going somewhere where we're getting a Zombie's Bane 
That's we a sword that does more damage to undead enemies. Yeah, we can do this. You can kind of tell it's going to be useful. Yeah. And um, we only have one ability, Giga Slash, that does more damage to undead as well, because it does lightning damage. And we got added strength, which also does more damage. Yeah, Giga Slash is based uh, on strength Giga. only. So actually, uh, the strength of the weapon doesn't matter, but uh, the hidden effects, well, not really hidden, but the passive the effect bonuses. of the yeah. Zombie's Bane works on Giga Slash. So it gives like 25 bonus damages to the zombie family. It is very significant. And uh, the next boss, we only do three different things. We defend, we heal, or we Giga Slash. It's, uh, that's all we do, but it's possibly one of the harder bosses in the run. Yeah. Surely the hardest of Act 2. Where's going to be? Yeah, here, the fishing rod. So this this uh, fishing rod uh, is as a random position, so it can be at the opposite of you, or just under your nose, if you're lucky. Oh my god, we just, we just ruined that guy's bait. So the whole world has been taken over by the dog, Morgan. He just went and attacked Nautica, we got sent away as a fish, and we uh, got helped by this fisherman. Instead of saying fisherman, I just said fisherman, why not? <laughs> and now we're back in the cobblestone area. As a human. Back where we started. Yeah. Beautiful, but it's purple. And dark, and there's zombies everywhere. Yeah. And enemy's eyes are glowing red for some reason. Yeah, that's the dark... Um... Not malicious, but uh, um, vicious. vicious version of uh, enemies. So you have vicious slimes, vicious zombies, vicious uh, whatever, whatever you want. And uh, so yeah, we can grab the horse on the bells only, but we cannot use anymore the horse ailer. Silvando took uh, took it with him. All those drakies are off to dodge. They like. They're blocked by saying the Heliodor region text, and oh my god, it's such a brutal thing to keep running into them. Yeah. But we, uh, we are actually quite strong right now, to be honest. Giga Slash will kill most enemies in one hit. But it uh, costs a lot of MP, so we don't want to it waste does. it. It costs a lot of MP. This is, this is the start of the hero rebuilding his crew. Um, so we're going to be going around collecting new party members, fighting more bosses. And uh, honestly, after this next boss, it's pretty simple up until the true ending, uh, the Act 3 area. It's not too difficult. The end of the run is very smooth. Very, very smooth. So buying a magic shield, the next boss casts magic. That'll be useful. Uh, dark magic specifically, which is why we have the Devil's Tail. Which is... Um, Really nice to reduce the damage on the Zams, Zamals. Yeah, and also uh, I think a few monsters that we are going to fight soon are the magic, like there's a Griffin using Swoosh, and yep. uh, that's it, I think. Can't remember. Uh, the thing, the creature that I don't care about because they're a pushover. The big dragon that does Kassizzle. Oh, Kassizzle. I oh yeah, that's that's later. Way. That's uh, I was talking about the endless oh, fight. Oh, immediately now. That's true. Oh, in the oh, oh my god, I was thinking like <laughs> I was thinking the next hour. Oh yeah. And you're almost done with any percent. <laughs> yeah. So we can see Hendrik. Uh, my god. Who he's the good one? Like Jasper was influenced by Mordigan, in, and he. He's now, now serving Mordigan, but Jasper, uh, um, Henrik, is uh, a good guy. He serves uh, his king, so the king is back to his, uh, like, uh, regular, well, he still has, uh, he still had his regular form, but Mordigan left his body, so the king is uh, himself now, and he apologized for what he did to us. 
So now we have to fight all those monsters with Hendrik. Because they are attacking the last uh, city. Uh, well, the last city. Yeah, the last place of the region that has... Uh... Oh, I don't have... Yeah, I don't have Zombie Zombies Bane. Yeah, I'm bad. Oops. Zombies Bane. I can, the I can equip it. I can equip it in uh, in fight, so that's okay. You killed them all in two anyway, it's all good. Yeah. Sometimes the... Because of the plus 25 strength, I was saying like, sometimes that dragon skeleton can live. But uh, the 25 strength actually does so much damage. Yeah, Jesus. so good. So pretty easy fight. Uh, one thing is that I, on my Switch world record, I died on this fight. <laughs> <laughs> so damn. I never died to this fight, and when I'm on water good pace, I die to it. It's always on good pace. It's never yeah. on bad pace. Yeah, of course. Always. So Hendrik is a is a host for a few more fights. Well, one one main fight, which will be Tyrant. Um. And then he will join the party. So the king wants us to, well, kill or stop uh, the uh, the evil attack attacking uh, the last bastion. So the last bastion is the new name of cobblestone. And so we have to fight uh, the evil inside the. The castle of Elodor, we we don't really know who is uh, who is the the leader of those attacks. So we have to find out with Henrik. The hero and Hendrik, the elite squadron infiltrating from the back door. Pretty smooth dungeon to run through as well. I've been trying to figure out a way to dodge those enemies, they, the ones you wait for as they walk past. Really slow uh, Drakis and restless armor. Now, yeah, I think there is a way to like dodge them. Already to do but it's very fast. difficult. Anyway, we can still menu during during this time to wait their cycle. Yeah. And we have to do a menu at some point. And I have to buy panaceas actually to this guy. So, uh, so. ah, because you're not going for the armor. The armor. Yeah. Oh, you're selling that. Oh, you're buying the heavy armor. Yeah, heavy armor. Ah, okay. And panaceas uh, eight. It's pretty good. That's panaceas it. are a bit better than a mid heal. Yeah. Um, it's about 80 to 90 for a mid heal on average, and Panaceas will give about 100 or so. Um, so a bit, a little bit better of health, and that sort of 10 health when you use 5 or so adds up to about 50 health overall. And that can be in the difference between having to heal again or not, leaving in extra attacks. And we don't really need gold anymore, we kind of just guess all the gold from the next fights. And we arrive uh, at the place where the Black Dragon lives. So did we reach the incentive of the Black Dragon? So it's uh, achieved. Okay, so we are going to fight the black dragon leaving here. So this is, is the this one. This is the one. Still who, a little scary, actually. Yeah. This fight. Yeah, a bit. He's sleeping, so we are going to not hit him. 
just engage in like that. And he wakes up, that's unfortunate. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah. Great beginning. Fortunately, we have MPC with us who can take all the hits. Uh, and knocked out, that's really unfortunate. And take zero hits. Henrik can heal us, can cast me heal, which is really important. Kabov, that's interesting. It's kind of okay though. Okay, interesting stuff. I'm afraid of his uh, pet power. It's going to proc soon, unless Hendrik finish him. No, he's going to heal us. Okay, maybe we finish it. That's nice. Okay, really good fight. Nice, nice, nice. Very nice. So it's like we have the, the pet powers. Do so yeah. much. We have the accolade Dragon Slayer. Like doing that. So that was the dragon nice. who chased us at the beginning of the of the game. So we had more revenge. Nice. We're just a little bit stronger now. Just a little bit. Yeah. Just need. Well, I'm going to heal after, but I need to heal my MPs because I used all my MPs to kill the dragon. I think I will have to collect one more Sage Elixir. So we enter this door, we get one, and there's another one, uh, so Sage Elixir, one, use, and uh, no. that's it. You may have noticed all those seeds of life, seeds of lives, seeds of life, I don't know how you want to say that, seeds of seeds, and um, we don't want to use those yet, but there's a boss coming up where he does about 54.5% of our max health up to a certain point. And so we don't want to use extra seeds as we can like outheal that attack and his other attacks. But if we use the seeds, we can't. So it's kind of playing a fine line. So we collect uh, uh, Ed uh, and Almet uh, that I'm not going to equip because uh, the Drasian Drasian Elm gives uh, more MPs, and I need MPs for the next fight. And also, I picked uh, five uh, five thousand gold. I mean, yeah, it's just lying there. You know? <laughs> it's free real estate. He's just sitting in a chest in a decrepit castle. Yeah. This game, this game throws gold at you more than you throw it at it. To be honest. So we watch a vision of the past thanks to our powers, and we discover that there is a secret, uh, well, secret passage to that leads to the throne room because the. The main stairs are broken, and actually, the the king is a uh, hungry king, always <laughs> in the night, and uh, he he likes to go in the kitchen. So he, he decided to build a little tunnel to from the, from his room to the kitchen. <laughs> I wish I had that. The kitchen is right next to my room, but like I wish I had a secret tunnel still. <laughs> Me too. Now it's time for Tyrion, very hard boss, but still scripted, so we need to use all knowledge of the script to do the good uh, decisions. Victory will be ours. Oh, we didn't go in full health. Ah, oh, not full health. It's okay. It shouldn't matter too much anyway. Yeah. Okay, start. Nice for Burns, okay. Interesting. Yeah. Really this is a really good attack to fall moments as well. Yeah, he's going to tank that mob, which is really good. He tanks the double hits when he swings and does an extra attack. That's uh, either Zamal or regular attack. That's the ones you really want forbearanced because those are the ones that do the most combined damage. One of them is a guaranteed hit on the hero. The other is a 50-50 hit. 
So he always and used beautiful. the same attack at the same moments. Uh, Sap not in full is really nice. I know that the boss is going to pep after the third demo, so I really want to to kill. Um, oh, it hurts. Uh, I'm going to defend after the third demo, so that's uh, that's the second demo. I'm going to penetrate again for a good healing. Yeah, you saw the clone pep up, and the clone is uh, the clone and when the clone and the main Tyrion body have both pepped up, they can do a combo attack, and it does a lot of damage. Um, Endrick? Yeah? That's fine. I think you heal yourself as well, surely. Again, Endrick? I'm like thinking of one. No, he doesn't. Okay. So now we're expecting the pet power, but you should be okay. Endrick? Thank you. Yeah. Nice, nice. Good. And this is the pet power. Yeah. So that would have done about 100 damage. Probably yeah. killed you. If you got hit before by the um, crash as well, it would have killed yeah. you if you went. Yeah, for sure. Ending. So you just always make sure you're played safe. And turn order was nice as well. This is so far a really good fight. You went in with, like, not even good health. Oh, no, that's an Omphor cast scary. by the Shadow, so he has... He deals much more damages, which is really scary. I'm going to defend at this turn. But I have yeah, no MP, and defend. also he is going to double physical. If you weren't defending and they both hit you, you would have died there. Yeah. It's uh, very, very rough. The Umfall does so much. Uh, he's almost dead. This is very smooth. Very smooth fight so far. Yep. Nothing too bad. Only one wasted turn defending, I think. And even then, you still kind of had to, so... Nice. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful fight. Yeah, great fight. So now that we saved the region of Eriolor, we have to tell the king and everyone that we defeated the evil, well, not the entire evil, but the evil that was uh, living in this part of the of the world. But where is everyone? My god. No, were you too late? Oh no. Oh no. Did they? No. Monsters get and no chance. Surprise! They just uh, prepared. The, uh, they're all bunkering down, and hiding. Yeah, everyone's perfectly safe. They're all happy. The skies are clear. Yeah. So everyone is saved. And now Hendrik joins the the party, and he always joined at level thirty six. So he's pretty high level and is going to be the new damage dealer. Hero is kinda useless compared to him. Going to zoom to it's kind of church. Cheap. So now we need kind to of head. Low. Yes. Sorry, you go, no. Yeah, go on, go on. I was gonna say, you saw Cutting Edge, but now you get to see Unbridled Blade, which is yeah. the next step up. And it's uh it's pretty good. It's pretty powerful. Eventually, after we get our next party member back. So I sold an axe for the axe of Hendrik because Hendrik will never use the axes. Axes are a really good weapon in this game, but sadly not not useful for the speedrun. So we, we stole it, and uh, now we have to head to the uh, Mount Penglai, which is really far. We, we zoom to, um, to the foothills of uh, Eliodor, and we have to pass through the Mangle Grove to arrive to uh, Costa Valor, because a, a bridge appear, appeared since uh, the beginning of Act 2. We can go 
from the Mungan Grove to the Costa Valo, which wasn't possible before. So the cool thing is that we have to travel again the world in Act 2, but differently, like some regions become connected when they were not in Act 1. Yeah, it's really strange as well because we didn't go everywhere in Act 1. So we haven't uh, we haven't been to the not the next area. We haven't been to the next area. So you're not allowed to be there in Act One. But the area after, and then the area after that, we haven't gone to yet because we skipped it by yeah. going out of bounds. Yeah, we were supposed to, but so yeah. there's uh, there's always some interesting things that happen in these areas that yeah you should have gone to before but haven't. So we'll see definitely a few of those. So I grab the campsite, and then a horse, and we go back a bit to head to the Mount Penglai. Uh, this uh, path was closed uh, in Act 1 because uh, uh, Eliodor soldiers know that a Luminary is supposed to go to this place at some point. So we couldn't go in Act 1, but now we're going uh, in the... Uh, Angrila, which is a, a this place. Is a sacred mountain. Yeah, sacred mountain. This is a place of training for the luminary and all prince of uh, all princes of all the Dundrazel, actually. And to arrive to the Angrila, we have to to climb the mountain. So we need the mounts, which are. This dragon, which is this dragon. It's Another fight that can kill you out of nowhere. Yeah, so. sometimes. But they, they play twice a turn, so it can go really wrong sometimes. I got a dragon arm, which is really good. It's a component of uh, my next, uh, find next uh, weapon to, to forge. So it will cost less money, which is really good. So now I can fly and climb easily this uh, this cave. I think the only better drop you can get from those dragons is actually Dragon's Bane, the weapon, one of the weapons you want. Yeah, they, they can drop it too. It's a uh, one out of two. 256, I think. Yeah, just kind of old. It can happen. So we pick up this chest, uh, which contains two uh, the respires of many things actually, but uh, we are interested of the respires of uh, Dragon's Bane and Wormfang, which are two weapons uh, that are effective uh, against uh, dragons. So. Dragon's Bane is a one-ended uh, weapon and a uh, uh, sword, I mean, and uh, William Fang is a great sword. We are going to forge, not now, but soon, uh, uh, one of each. Hero will stay for now with uh, uh, one uh, one-ended sword, so he will have the Dragon's Bane. And Hendrik, uh, we will build in, build in soon. Soon enough, we will uh, build him uh, with the Great Sword, so we, he will have the Wen Feng. The next yeah, boss is the game gave you uh, dragon things, yeah, things like dragon slayer weapons. I wonder why, you know, it's yeah, we are perfect timing, perhaps. But... Maybe, maybe we're going to fight dragons soon. No, no, not in Dragon Quest. No, that's not no, possible. No, surely not. So this is a place of training where we can uh, do some uh, trials. Uh, but we are not going to do it, of course. It's useless. It gives some good rewards, but yeah, it takes too much too much time to to do it. We don't have time. On the definitive edition, they added a secret trial that uh, wasn't available in the original original edition. 
which is even harder than the final trail. So now they heard the yeah in the Angrilla people heard about uh, an hermit uh, who's at the top of the of the mountain, and we want to make sure that he's uh, he's all right. So we are going to to climb again, get another mount to check. Uh, Who's that hermit? Yeah, I wonder who that hermit could be. I have no idea. I have no possible idea who they could be making us look for. In this place where the crown princes of Dundrazil yeah. have gone. No possible clue. Overall, it's pretty smooth. I have a feeling we will be uh, meeting some people soon enough. Yeah. Recuperating our party, but I think the uh, the choices of our first four party members is always pretty interesting to me. Yeah. So I need to build Hero Hendrik. Hendrik. Yeah. We build Hendrik in two parts. Um, the second part of the building requires require to. Um, rectify it. So I just put a few skills uh, for him and yeah, go with that. Actually, oh, look, look, oh who is God, it? Who is that? Surely it's not Rab. He is so skinny. Yeah, that's not him. Oh Impossible. my Lord. Impossible. Yeah, that's actually Skin him. and bones. We're going to see him with his uh, right uh, Wait soon. So this is actually a solved fight. I think you can just do it with your eyes closed, pretty much. You know exactly what they're gonna do. Any point? Yeah. Um, Literally scripted. We're gonna fight. We're gonna fight Rab, yeah. and uh, we're gonna learn something really strong after we train our skills against him. So um. Yeah, but you didn't start with full health, that's... That's okay. I think it's okay, yeah. But that Pearly Gates ability does percentage of our max health up to, I think, 180 damage. Or 170 damage even, I can't remember which one. So, that's why we don't want too much max health, or else this fight can be a bit dicey, because we only have mid-heal and panaceas. After the first quadra slash, he will always split, and then his pattern will change. But we just giga slash the clones, and he only takes damage from quadra slash. He has exactly 500 health, so we just have to make sure we we can miss the 16 or the 32 quadra slash if the clones don't die. But they will always die with 25 strength added on. Uh, we just need to make sure we stay above that 123 health. And we should yeah, be I'm a bit low actually. That's bad. I think I, you should be fine if you just go for the kill. Yeah. Just, well, I can die if they use full okay. spells. It depends on what, what they do. Cast up is fine. I says, okay, great. They're pretty easy. I think oh, well. if you don't use Rab's Cane and you just do a Quadra Slash, I think that's better. It's weird, I don't know. I need to have another look at the fight, but I'm pretty sure you just do... You need drop the first one, and then just spam Quadra Slash. Quadra Slash, Giga Slash, and then just do four Quadra Slashes and you Well, you need drop skin to sustain a bit. Uh, then, we zoom to Costa Valor. And no, uh, Rab Got is going to... Is in the party once again. And now I need to do, to do a bit of rectifications for Hendrik and for Rab as well, actually. I don't rectify him. Just you don't. You just do it with a skill. Oh, fair enough. I always get the bonus agility on him. Okay, I don't. I don't give any agility for him. Fair enough. Did you forget the horse? 
We don't do the horse. Yeah, the horse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's better. Actually, I think it's faster to, to to have an horse. Like I think a horse. Sorry. Yeah, I think it's faster. Thank you. <laughs> it's okay. I was just thinking, like, am I misremembering? I, I, because I know that there was a weird bit I timed later on. That's like, is it worth running back for the horse after the thing, or is it worth just running forward after the next little cutscene? Oh yeah. And I think it's faster to just ignore it, but honestly, it's almost identical timing. Yeah, you, you said I think that no horse is faster after the next cutscene. I remember. You told me that. It's all. It's all milliseconds, but no. if it's free, you do it. If it's free, always. always. Which we did have to ditch the horse there anyway. But, yeah, um, here we have to leave the horse. And we are going to meet another party member, another friend. That's Silvando. Silvando was... Uh, his, uh, he already has a team actually. Like, he doesn't need us, but we, we need him because he's too broken actually. Yeah, we built his team, remember? In this scenario, we were going around getting everyone. Those yeah. are the people in his crew. So, so we actually get really strong armor here as well, that we use for Hero for a while. But uh, you can't run while wearing it or miss the little pause. So we unfortunately have to take off the outfit, but we keep using the armor. So enjoy. Enjoy the peacocks while you can. Yeah. Sylvando will be wearing it for a while. I don't think you ever get better armor with Sylvando, do you? Just keep it, even for true end. No, he doesn't get any better armor. No. It's insane. It's insane how good the game just gives you good armor. It gives you good levels, it gives you good armor, it gives you good equipment. It's, it's unreal. It's so kind. Yeah. So we forge one Dragon's Bane and one. Uh, yeah, one more thing that we instantly finish. <laughs> we don't have the level to get uh, the upgrades, and still, it's it's useless. So let's just finish it. So now I'm going to uh, remove my uh, outfit. Uh, Shade of the other dragon's vein. We have thing. <laughs> the clowns. Yeah. Part yeah. of the crew. I don't know if you saw, but yeah. Um, yeah, that's it. Here we just go for Rake and Break. Very strong ability. And we also get some extra attack power. Yeah. I personally like getting the extra agility. I think it's uh, really, really helpful. It means Rab can just act sooner. Heal first, buff first, debuff first. But, um,. Yeah, but I don't. It's more of a menuing, waste some time and extra money. Yeah. So now we run to Phenomenon, the town that oh, we skipped. We have not been here. Yeah. We are supposed to get here, do a bit of story, and unlock the magic key in the Actua, but we completely skipped it. And this. City... I'm sure nothing will be strange in this town. This city is. Kind of fine. The worst is the flying. I think the inn has problems. Yeah, uh, there's a no? there's a piece of paper that's closed for the that says the inn is closed, but um oh. the inn isn't closed. Just the doors are closed. Oh yeah, and yeah, you can walk through the doors. It's uh it's pretty it's moderately interesting when you open the doors and the piece of paper just hangs there. Uh, it doesn't move. But it's a bit more apparent in the next town we go to that we should have been to. What how the game really does mess up. But yeah, everyone's been everyone's had to give something away that they didn't want to give away. They've been robbed. And uh one of the kids went back to go get his his dad's uh his dad's necklace back that he gave away because you know his dad cares more about the necklace than he does the kid because that's what he gave away obviously the dad just lied to protect his son but uh, the son doesn't know this but Sylvando's fabulous saves them and uh, helps 
beat up Avarith. Which is Avarith with a lisp. And this boss funds kind of every gold rush you'll do. Because you get a lot of gold. I love this boss. It's a really easy boss. I didn't play the I'm Them. Yeah. I, I went for for Wreck and Break, but he didn't play. Because the boss wants to go for Cabuff and increase his defense. So we did less damage, so I want to reduce, to remove this buff with Wreck and Break. Like that. Nice, nice. Okay, Hero is sleeping, it's really That's, fine. We don't care about Hero. Yeah. Hero is kind of useless for the rest of the, yeah. rest of the run, to be honest. Hendrik is the damage there. Oh. You can watch oh, the damage. So good. Oh my god. It's so much damage, it's so oh, nice. Oh, we don't care about the hero, he can die. We don't care. I thought Hero would play, but no, he didn't. Um, yeah, okay. it's okay. This is the point of the run where you can just start throwing uh, your characters at bosses and we don't really care if they live or die. Um, and the boss is dead. Three hits by uh, Hendrik. Very nice. Hero is just taking a nap. I don't know. I, I think it's okay. Oh, he's, he's there. He's, he's awake. So... Uh, that is, uh, yeah. That's my strats for the end of the run, at least. You throw your characters at the bosses, and if they die, they die. If they live, yeah. they great. For trending, we want Hero to survive, actually. Like, for XP, because trending is going to be really hard if Hero isn't all leveled. Well, I don't think Avarice gives a lot of XP, like it's okay to die to Avarice. I'd like to get level uh, level 29 for Gildiga. Should be fine. C, 11, 11,000 XP. Um. I think we'll do with the Gilda Note C, it will be okay. And if you take the fights on the ocean, I yeah, think so, yeah. Yeah, also. You get good fights to take. I need some good fights in the ocean. So yeah. now, Euro is really under level, so we cannot dodge anymore uh, the encounters in the sea. Uh, but since we have a really good uh, AoEs, like Gold Rush, Pearly Gates, Squad or Slash, we are going just to 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 clear every uh, every encounter we, we find in the sea, because soon we are going to get the boat of Salvando. And uh, travel it's to so much fly. faster to just fight the enemies. Yeah. Or even trying to even, flee because... Yeah. yeah, you spend one minute fleeing or like just kill them in 10 seconds. So now we're going to go get the boat back, going back to Costa Valle. Yeah. Or to Puerto Valle. And uh, we get to learn Silvando's backstory with his town now. Yeah. When we went for the first time at Puerto Valle, he... He tried to hide, uh, so he doesn't uh, meet his uh, his father, his father who's uh, Don Rodrigo. Don Rodrigo is a really uh, famous uh, knight in Puerto Valle. He uh, he trained, he he teached uh, a lot of uh, battle techniques to. To Hendrik and Jasper. Only Hendrik, I think. Yeah. Hendrik trained side by side with Sylvando, yeah. And uh, I think Sylvando always came out on top. And that's one of the little quips you get. Sylvando is one of the strongest knights in the entire uh, continent. But he doesn't want but to be a he, knight. Uh, he doesn't. He wants to bring smiles to everyone's face. Yeah. What a charming man. So he became the the knight of smiles. Or oh, the no, the spreader of smiles. Yeah, that's his uh, his name. When you we go in the attributes uh, menu, every uh, every character has a has an an accolade, I would say. And Sylvando, <laughs> it's written a little spreader. Title, yeah. yeah, title. Yeah, and it's everyone's written. got a really nice one. And then Eric's is just the hero's best friend. Yeah, just... <laughs> the Luminary's best friend. Oh, it's so this funny. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We've got like the warrior princess, the wise old sage. 
Luminary's best friend, yeah. He's, he's here, guys. Moral support all the way. But Eric's actually really strong. He is the highest DPS in the game. Yeah. So... At least. At least in our runs, yes. Until you get to, like, level 90 or so, and Jade starts outscaling. Oh, really? Jade outscale at uh, level 90? With, uh, with multi-fists and, and, and stuff, I think so, yeah. Okay. I didn't expect. I think unless Eric is using knives and yeah, sets everything nice. up perfectly, but that's it's so hard to say. Like a four-turn setup for ten thousand damage or fifteen hundred damage every turn, guaranteed. Yeah, it's hard to say, you know, because you can just get disrupted. Things can't work. It's I don't know. Maybe Eric is the highest, but I guess it's the highest nuke massive amount of damage yeah but inconsistent so yeah, yeah. so now Salvando is back in the party I gave him a bit of charm with his skill points because the charm uh, increased the effectiveness of uh, his hostile dance and we are going to do the weird part soon giving the, the veil to Mitchell. Yeah, so normally we have to go back to the Svards first, right? Yeah. And you have to go through... You have to go fight the Luminary's father, uh, as well as the Gluminivore. And you also have to go get the harp from Jade, because she got the harp. You have to go save Jade, fight Jinx to Jade, and uh, Boogie. Okay. But we, uh, we can skip all that. Yeah. Because we don't, we have uh, another item to get the harp. I see these enemies are just rolling over. These old men Carl, are getting money thrown at them. <laughs> They're just dying. In this cutscene, uh, we discover that Eric was in the boat stealing food, and he lost his memory. So he's a useless character for now. This is such a nice strand. Wait, why is she still? Here? Yeah. Talking about Kai. So we have to lie, else we soft lock the, the game completely. And now we have the harp. So we can head to uh, the north of uh, the open sea, take the portal. And at this portal, normally uh, uh, a boss uh, fight is going to trigger. But since Jade isn't in the party, the boss fight doesn't trigger. So that's really funny. Can enter our sniff line without being attacked by uh, this boss uh, called uh, Alizarin. Uh, Alizarin is, can be quite tough. I think he's alright in a um, glitchless run because you have Jade. Yeah. But in this sort of run, it would be... We would get through him, but he could potentially... He could be like a killer. We have a pretty strong party right now, to be honest. But we're low on mana. Low on tons of things. Um, and it's just, yeah. But overall, it's pretty easy. You meant to get the harp in Act 1 as well? We do not want to see these guys. Yeah, this guy sucks. I don't want to see that. I have to flee, I have yeah, no choice. See that He's too, too strong. But no, I don't have enough experience to get level 29, so I have to get the last encounter before entering Sniffline. Do you need it before Gildago? Yeah, I want just. I I'm using Unbridle for Gildago. Oh, for hero. Yeah. Ah, I see. I see. So please, I'd like to have an encounter. Come on. Thank you. There we go. That's a good encounter. Yeah. Very good. Be a Gildago is. Quite scary, but thanks to uh, Rake and Break, is not that hard at all. Yeah. It uh, massively reduces their damage. Really, really nice. Really, really, really nice. Well, now we're in the Ice Kingdom, and the doors are open. They weren't open last time. Yeah. Check out. They were frozen shut. The gates are Please. encased in ice. There's no way to open them. Oh no! Oh, what I'm no. going to do? <laughs> oh. 
Oh my god, with a Hendrik. But you ran past Jade as well. Yeah. And oh, you don't have Jade. Again. Cannot enter the castle. Oh, what I'm going to do. Really. So these are some, some of the cutscenes coming up. You're meant to, at this point in the game, have Jade in your party. You're meant to have a five man party. But, uh, sorry, six man party, but obviously. We don't have Jade, and Eric is kind of useless. He's forgotten everything. He's got amnesia. He doesn't have any abilities or anything. So Eric's kind of useless, and we don't have Jade. Yeah, so we are so, restricted to... And we're kind of under level. Yeah, we are restricted to uh, to uh, the same party. Hendrik, Silvando, Eru, and Rav. Oh my god, that granny got turned into gold. Oh. There's a gold fever going around. Can I? Oh, I can pass Might the door. Through that oh, door. Wh what the hell? <laughs> what? Have you seen that? Wow. <laughs> Let's do it again. We have to open this one. Let's do it again? Oh my god. Wow. It's just... Yeah, the game did not properly load the whole area the first time. Everything that you were meant to get rid of the first time around in Sniffleheim, you didn't. And so it's still all there. It's a uh, yeah, interesting moment. Yeah. But now we're working with Eric, regaining his memories. Yeah. Step by step. Because he was a Viking police, and the Vikings are usually coming in, uh, in this city. But they were changed Go. to a golden monster, so we wonder what happened. How they became those monsters. Sap is fine. You should kill with Unbridle. You just want to avoid the paralyzing move on Hendrik there, really. It's enough. Good. Very nice. And it's okay, we're so low on mana right now, we need to get it, but fortunately, just by the grace of gods, there is a statue that will fully heal us yeah. right at the entrance to our next area. And anyway, I will Absolutely. talk to the statue because I need to rectify hero. Rectify so. hero, yeah. So even if I didn't need to restore my MPs, I, I will talk to the statue, which is at the Viking hideout. So I can zoom to Sniffleheim City. I couldn't do that just before because the cutscenes were locking zoom. But now we have done all the cutscenes, zoom isn't locked. So we head to the Viking hideout to see what's going on, why they became those monsters, and why they are stealing statues of people changed to turn to gold. Notification hero, swan mastery, and I'm going to forge my second William Fang also. Because Hero is going to be built in uh, Great Swords, same as Enric, so I need a second Realm Thing. Yeah, this is a much safer way to do Gildegar, because it means if one of your guys dies, you still have an extra damage source. But um, if you're crazy like me, you will just go in with Gate Slash. Uh, see how it goes. Yes, Eric is not here for now. So we need to save Eric from the Golden Vikings. It's the same fight but with more more enemies, but it doesn't matter. We we have the AoEs to kill them. Yeah, pretty easy to fights. Hero should level up on this uh, on this fight. I hope. We really hope. Maybe he's a bit short in terms of level. If he is, I'm just take another fight. He should be fine against the cards. Nice. Oh, perfect. That's four and a half thousand in our fight. So, so we learn also Unbridle. We need level 29 for Unbridle, as you can see. Yeah, beautiful. Eric, we've got Eric back, he got stolen with the Vikings and the 
Golden Granny. And we're going to be um, learning a little bit about... Eric is still not in the party. I forgot. I, I want to get the strength <laughs> ring from that. That's the second time I go in the menu to, to put the strength <laughs> ring on Hero, but I'm like, wait. Oh, Eric is not in the party. Yeah, he, he's crying here. Don't know why. We have to touch the Yggdrasil route to see, uh, find out what happened. We Turns explore. out Eric's uh, sister got cursed and was turned to a golden statue and Eric was finding a way to turn her back, which is why he needed the power of the magic orbs. And, um, well, she got turned back to normal, but it was by, uh, it was by Mordigan. So she is now uncursed, but, uh, also cursed. <laughs> Hatred yeah. or something that is, that an anime protagonist would have. And of course, we cure that by fighting. So, this time, I wake up. String ring. <laughs> yeah. Third time's the charm. And Eric gets Dragon's Bane. Good. <laughs> and we enter the... Uh, Gil Gilden Hall, yeah. So if you don't, this is a pretty don't like gold, as well. if you don't like gold, yeah, you're not going to like this dungeon. You just look away, close your eyes. <laughs> but it's a pretty quick run through, not too complicated. Uh, a bit of a maze, but when you have it, when you understand where you have to go, it's pretty simple. And then we've got a pretty hard boss coming up, yep. which is Gildiger. Um, does a lot of damage, has a really annoying move that puts two of your party members into gold, and we do not want Hendrik and Sylvando to be gold. They are our main damage. I guess with Hero, actually, you're kind of okay, but um, you definitely want Hendrik to stay up. I want Hero to survive to 4 XP. Kinda important. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to unlock this door I'm in case I die. Ah, oh, you should make sure you save then as well. Oh yeah, I'm done. Yeah, of course. Else it won't matter. Just close again. <laughs> yeah, I enter and leave to uh, force an auto save. Auto saves are so helpful when used yeah. properly. Because in, normally in a Dragon Quest game, you die, you lose half your gold, and go back to your last save point. But uh, with auto saves, you just go strictly back to your last save point. You don't get to keep anything you earn, or like anything you got, or your levels get reset back to what they were at the point. But um, most of the time, especially in a speedrun, you're not going to be getting into anything anyway. Yeah, pretty good. And the boss is um, <coughs> pretty rough. Yeah. Let's see how it goes. So she can turn uh, two party members uh, into a statue, gold statue, so they cannot be targeted, but they cannot act. So if she frees uh, the two healers, it really sucks. Wait, that's, that's Mia from the hit game, Dragon Quest Treasures. <laughs> yeah, true. That's crazy. Okay. What the focus on Rava? <laughs> I've had oh, it where all four hit the exact same person before. I missed the sound. So, uh, That's really bad. That is pretty bad. Yeah, I don't have this side, app. Break and break off, I think. I'm not sure to land. Okay, I did. Nice, nice, nice. So at least she doesn't have the unfollow. up. So yeah. Just keep doing uh, this is a lot safer. You're not going to die to this fight now, but it's really slow. Yeah, really slow. Um, usually this rake and break does like 300 damage. It would just one-shot hero there and kill him. Yeah. But rake and break saves it, removes the unfollow. And that's not what you want to see. You don't want to see the Gildan Britches, you want to see the two Gildan Forts, because they die straight away to Gold Rush. This one does not die, unfortunately. 
in one hit. But I just keep on chipping him down. Uh, we've already done like a thousand damage, and don't even yeah. have sap off. And Thanks, then it, it sap. should be dying in. Oh, it's don't attack Shiro, please. Don't, don't, don't. Okay. We are fine. Everything it's is pretty good fight. fine. No, everything is not fine at all. Oh, my god. Uh, well, I'm going to... Well, Zing, I guess. I need Hero to... Well, Hero needs to get experience. Okay, good. Oh, thank god Zing's working. Uh, well... Just don't die. Yeah, good. Should be good. Come on, that's that's a joke. Ah, what a game! Pretty brutal one. What a game! Uh, well, I should just heal with. I'm going to Penacea actually because Hero has no attack yeah, boost. Yeah. Oh my god! We are fine. Everything is fine. It's just the nature of the fight. Slow but sure. Surely going down. Oh my god, that thing hurts. Uh, well, then it's here again, I guess. Let's get another gold rush. Uh, you almost got I'm going to safety heal. Because I don't think I kill. Uh. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate. I'm going I to think, uh, break and break. You should be okay here. To remove the M4. I missed. That's really bad. Uh, I should defend with Hendrik, actually. Good choice. Nice defend. More enemies. I've actually never seen this many enemies in the fight. Yeah. I should just sap and... Okay. Yes, this should kill now, I think. She can die. She doesn't. Savando? No, Savando doesn't play. This is so dicey. Uh, more heal? Oh yeah, this is so long. <laughs> this is like trying to save everyone here. But yeah, keep oh, I don't have enough MP. Oh, okay, it kills. Well, easy, <laughs> easy every time, first try. Yeah. <laughs> Technically, first try. Yeah. Well, everyone lived, which is a lot of experience. Yeah. Uh, Sylvander living is really nice for him. Yeah. Yeah, because level 39 the gives him the on four, which is a uh, pretty good to um, put Eric at plus two uh, for the next yeah. fight and yeah, every fight now. Uh, nice door, by the way. <laughs> uh, I'm going to switch to two D mode because. Uh, I want to fix a bit my uh, my skips, uh, so I skipped Jade. Jade isn't in the party, but I need her to get XP. And by switching to to the mode, uh, the game will like fix all uh, things that are wrong. And so Jade is going to be back in the party. Uh, I'm going to menu. She's still under leveled at this point. Uh, unfortunately, she, so yeah. not too useful to be any percent. Yeah, she's really useless, but. At least... Oh, just like that, she's there. We did nothing for her and she's back. At least she will... Uh, she will be... She will getting... Uh, she will get XP at least. So I learned my skills in 2D because it's faster. Oh, surprise? I didn't see that one coming. Wow. Okay, nice. I'm so surprised. Right so now. I have enough points for Divide. Wow. Calculate. Wow, that's... Wow. That's so fortunate. I didn't think you'd have enough points there, but you know, surprise. Yeah, <laughs> huge surprise. So Eric is now the most broken character of the of the game because he learned divide, which basically will multiply by three his next uh, uh, attack when he uses it, and he also learned uh, fatal slash. Which is a 2.5 uh, damage multiplier, I think. So we've got 2.5 multiplier. 
times three, yeah. which is 7.5. And we do that over two turns. So divide that by two is 3.25 damage. Sorry, 3.75 damage. Yeah. So he does over three and a half times as much damage as he like <laughs> as he should. Throw in umful and sap, and you multiply that by like another four. Yeah, this is so dumb. So um, you, we're, we're gonna hit some damage on this boss coming up, and you throw in the dragon's bane, and it's just it's just kind of a bad it's just kind of a bad time for this guy. Unless he stunlock us, which can happen because he likes to use a lot of moves that uh, paralyze or knock down large members. So that's why I swap so out. Also scripted. That's why I swap out. Uh... Yeah, swap Eric out, and then that way you can get him back in before his next turn, and he'll go next turn as well. It's a very, very nice actually, like manipulation of turn order right there. Really, really nice. And now grab stunned, but you can also. Uh... Yeah, I'm just going to. Yeah. On four and. I think that's fine. Either that or heal. Offensive well. mode. But that's insane. 1800 damage and 1900 damage. The only one that was Sad dying of the hit, it's of course. Oh my god. That's unfortunate. He would have been dead this turn with just another phase of flash yeah. of that hit, I think. But I would divide now instead. That's very nice. Still still a good fight. Yeah. But defense went back to normal. I couldn't renew the sap. But I guess he dies unless okay. he dodge again. That's all. So you can see now with Eric, the fights are going really, really fast. Yeah, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. That was almost a three turn kill, which is uh, the quickest you can get. Yeah. So um, he said it was a four turn kill, you know? So slow. You know? <laughs> Imagine the difference between three and four turns. Yeah. But that's. um, This is what the end of the. This is what the end of the any percent category is like. You're, instead of being uh, like the spider, where you can just sit and be stunned for eight turns in a row and never die, in this one you're gonna kill a boss within one or two turns that you you know from optimal really. Yeah. Thank it's uh, much much nicer. Thank you, Eric, for making the run fast. <laughs> so. Normally, that's all you enter Arboria, you have to get dismount and do a little uh, parkour. Um, we do intense parkour. Yeah. Oh, we got Serena! Oh my god. Yeah, Serena is back. Oh, she's, she's here, she appeared. That's crazy. Everyone's dead, we threw money at them. This is... Uh, everything is just happening so quickly. Yep. Oh my god, you're, you're rock climbing, you're just standing on a wall. Yeah little trick here to save time. Uh, it's just, okay. Instead of doing the entire parkour, as you can see, just I cut a bit, save time. We have to dodge those uh, statues here on our way. It's so annoying to dodge. Because yeah. every time you jump, you stagger, and then uh, they come out. Oh my God. Nice. Very nice, very nice. It's harder than it looks, to be honest. A lot of things look way easier than it is because it doesn't look like it's uh, quick or hard movement. But um, it's so easy to mess it up. So a little shot here. Nice little I'm shot. going to. Uh, oh my god, you got 44,000 points. You're um, loaded. Dragon film. Uh, I want to sell also uh, Thief Jordan. Uh, Trident. Uh, it's all shield for Serena. Instal Might for Serena. Um, flowering Dress for Serena. And I have money for this for Salvando. I'm, go I'm going to sell his uh, shield to have enough money. And I can sell Clock of Evasion. And I think I'm fine. So we bought a bunch of armor for Serena. Uh, Serena is um, going to become one of the strongest characters. 
and we're just making sure we always want her in our party. She will have perfect offense and defense spells, um, buffs and debuffs, and we always want to use them. Every yeah, single because, time we want to use one of them. Because spoiler, she got uh, Veronica's power because she is not. Uh, she passed out actually. Well, more than passing out, she she died. She sacrificed herself to save us when uh, Mordigan uh, stole the Sword of Light. She that's why we were all spread uh, in the entire world. It's because she used all her powers, her, her powers, sorry to to save us. So that's why. And now we have to finish. Uh, what she started. So that's why we hear the sad music because everyone uh, heard about uh, the death of Veronica. Man, that's so rough. They don't often do this sort of stuff in RPGs, man, where they actually like take out a main character. Yeah. This is uh, very rough the first time you're seeing it. Yeah, this game is really brutal. Because you go around, you've collected everyone else, you've got a new party member, you're like, oh, I'll go collect the sisters, I can't wait. And then it's like, oh, you get one. Oh, where's the other one? Oh, no. So sad. So On the bright side, Serena's now incredibly overpowered. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, uh... And she has a short air, also. Not really important, but yeah, you can notice that. That is important. That is very important, actually. You'll see why that's important later. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure everyone will see why that's important later. On the <laughs> ring of change. It's not. Mm -hmm. It's not important. <laughs> so we are going I to unlock something so small. What? Oh my god. Sorry, I was picking up something so small. It's not important to all her head. Doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just we don't care. <laughs> So, uh, oh my God. New, a whale. new way of uh, traveling, Cetacea, the flying whale, that's so badass. I mean, it actually is pretty cool. Yeah. I think it's pretty cool. I think flying whale is uh, better than flying carpet, a magical flying train, or uh, a god bird, I don't know. I'm a big fan of the whale. Yeah, I like it. I like the other way of uh, of traveling in other DQ games as much as uh, as this one. Always, uh, there's always always cool ideas in the game. Now we have to touch those uh, seedlings to to discover a bit uh, how to defeat Mordigan. We see some visions, so we discover that we have to forge a sword of light. Since Mordigan stole it, we have to make our own sword of light by uh, collecting a mineral called the uh, Old Calcum. And then we need to get an armor that uh, uh, the Sultan of Galopolis uh, has. And go in the forge of Hotu in the volcano, the Mount Uji, to forge this sort of light. So, first we're going to Galopolis, where something yeah. weird is happening. For this, uh, for this next, these next three sections, what we just saw, the next three sort of dungeon areas or scenes or whatever, you can do them in any order. It doesn't matter. Um, there's no difference between them. So it's just go sun. Out whichever ones you want. Weird Sun. Yeah, yeah. Erdwin Lantern. Star, yeah. Erdwin Lantern is falling from the sky. What's going on? So we have to investigate, of course, as usual. Erdwin's allowed. Interesting. Also, Prince Paris has uh, completely redeemed himself and has gone off the deep end and is now 
doing everything he can for his country, including the most reckless of stunts, like yeah. going directly underneath this star that's falling down. So he's, um, you know, he's gone so far the other way from the irredeemable prince that he's just an idiot, I think. Yeah, I think too. <laughs> and uh, we're going to go help him out, because uh, we're also batshit crazy, you know? And we are going to meet the true final boss, actually, really soon. Well, we are also going to, to meet the final boss of Act 1, of Act 2, I mean, but yeah, in a, in a different way, like, he's going to show up in the sky while uh, a little dark uh, tokol tries to communicate somehow with this uh, star, you can see. The Lord of Shadows will appear and destroy completely the star. So why he's doing that, we don't know. And what the Tokol, like this little thing here, what he wanted to do, we don't really know. That's weird. The only thing that we saw is, uh, so Rab uh, watched the, the Lantern of Erdwin with his uh, binoculars, I think. No, it's a... Uh, no, but not binoculars, because it's only one... One... Th it's for only one eye. I don't know what is it called. Something scope, I'm not sure what it's called either. Yeah. And so... He he read uh, Kalasmos on, on the lantern. But what means Kalasmos, we don't know. So, yeah. We just discovered... Well, we, we know, but yeah. the characters don't. Yeah, of course. So I we... don't play True End, so actually, no, I... Yeah. So we need to... <laughs> we need to talk twice to the Sultan to get the armor. I've already done the mistake to talk to him twice and then play the flute and get out of the castle and then realize yeah, that I don't have the way. hammer and I was really disappointed. So... It's so rough. Yeah. It once is to say, like, oh, we're back. The other is, oh, can I have this forge hammer that I need to make sort of like? Now we are to the battleground. This is where we can find the rarefied Oracle Clan. And that's what we're using to forge the uh, thing, the sort of like. But, uh,. Honestly, it's uh, pretty simple. It's a pretty simple run from here in the story. We're just picking up the pieces to uh, open the Dark Barrier and fight Mordigan. It's, uh, yeah, it's a uh, very, very easy sort of section. Tatsunaga can be a bit of a rough boss yeah. um, because of crits and it's kind of random. Yeah, also his, uh, uh, his war, like so. he can, uh, he can uh, knock down Arch member, so if he cog if he cog knock down uh, Eric when he divided, yeah, it's it's pretty bad because he just, just cancel time, yeah. he cancel his turn. Well, really not good. Very very bad. And he also does a lot. Of, um, people um, can die in this fight, but you know we'll see how it is. Should be okay. So I think we reached the ultimate puff puff incentive. Yeah, so we'll have a, a great cutscene coming up <laughs> that I'm going to let on. Uh, uh, yeah, we can uh, choose to put it on autoplay in this game, the cutscenes, so you can hear the voices. So there's this uh, rabbit girl. We don't know what she's doing here, but yeah, she's she's here and she she. Uh, Ask uh, us if we want to do a puff puff. Hero obviously wants a puff puff. So let's go for our fight and enjoy. <laughs> Don't be nervous now. Just relax. Oh, you're so muscly. <laughs> Let me work out these knots. Does that feel good? You'll tell me if it hurts, won't you? 
So that was the ultimate puff puff. And we have an accolade for that. Puff puff pioneer. Nice. Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> oh yeah, I haven't Still put... think the one in Galopolis is better. Yeah, the one in Galopolis is really fun also. This one is good because you can let it on auto play and there's the okay. there are yeah. voices. I could have put the Japanese voice too. Yeah, since I usually play in English, I let it on in English. And yeah, it has uh, been already done in Japanese in uh, other marathons, so why, why not do it also in English? Because <laughs> the English voices are actually the original ones, like they came up first, before the Japanese voices. Even if the game is Japanese. That's a pretty common thing with Dragon Quest games, actually. That happened with Dragon Quest VIII as well. Where yeah. The Japanese version wasn't didn't have any voice actors, and then the English Western version came out, and it had English voice actors. So we get the Oracle come. And we can go to O2 to normally forge the... Not the hammer, sorry, but the, the Sword of Light. Everything should be fine. No? No, obviously not. There's a problem in Hoto. A monster terrifies uh, the entrance of the volcano. So there's like a ceremony the priest Miko wants to do. And so we have to yeah, fight the monster actually. So we zoom back to Otto. We're going, we are going to zoom back to Otto a lot of times, like, really. <laughs> yeah. It's always I mean, like, enter Otto, go to the temple, to the cutscene, zoom back to Otto, go to the volcano, okay, we have, the, we have done the stuff, okay, zoom back to Otto, okay, we go to the temple, okay, we zoom back to Otto, no? <laughs> oh, sorry, mister. Okay. Like, I want to play you a song. Yeah, you have to make the trip like three, four times. Yeah. Because you can't just zoom to the Hotte Steep. You have to keep going back to the Haiku Land. Every so, time. so the monster was actually two two kids in a in a, in a hide. Those two, and they were protecting their mother because uh, Priest Miku. Uh, wants to sacrifice their mother to uh, calm the anger of uh, the volcano. So of course they protect their mother as good kids. We head into the volcano to check if, if everything is fine and we discover that Tatsunaga, the dragon that Miku is supposed to have defeated, is actually alive. So actually Miku is dying and she is protecting the, the dragon. So let's tell everyone that she is lying, so zoom back to her too again. For the, that's the second time for the moment.
It's kind of a sad story why she's protecting the dragon as well. Yeah. But uh, her son's soul still lives on within it. Yeah. He actually, but, uh, she fought the dragon with her son, but when they defeated the dragon, her son became the dragon. He has been cursed. But the dragon attacks the town. Ooh. We come and step. We step and save the day. Uh, and this one's a pretty easy fight because yeah. the dragon is at half strength, so it's pretty easy to kill. We're doing two thousand damage with Eric, so uh, yeah. Easy peasy. And since I said that, I'm going to get karma. I guess. <laughs> Okay. No, it's fine. Nice easy. Yeah, so, there we go. Really fast fight. Perfect. Victory is ours. Cannot be faster than that, I think, actually. No. And now um, the dragon has eaten uh, Miko, so he kind of. 80s on motor, which is uh, terrible. And the dragon went back to the volcano, so he's not dead yet. And uh, there's the servant of uh, Miku that uh, explains all the story that she was looking for a mirror uh, that uh, would uh, maybe uncurse uh, his son, but she. Uh, I think the mirror, she had the mirror, but it wasn't working, like she needed uh, something else. And this yeah. mirror is a reference to Dragon Quest V. Because in Dragon, so Dragon Quest V we unmask a monster with uh, by using Mirror of Ra. So yeah, that's a reference of DQ5. So now we add to the... Volcano. In the post game as well, actually. Yeah. And go back. Yeah, in the post game, since we go back in time, we we find the the fluid that was necessary to make the make the mirror walking to save Ryu. Yeah, that's the name of uh, of her son. Oh, this is a tiny little dungeon. Not really scary, but. No. Uh, Get introduced to environmental hazards, but uh, we don't care, it's slow to wait for them. So we'll just run over everything. Usually yeah. you're meant to get mounts to pass these things, but uh, you know. We can quick heal, so it's oh, fine. Just a little bit of lava, you know. It's yeah, okay. it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. And so this boss is much harder than the previous one because he has uh, four, uh, well, he has 4800 health. Which is a double, and uh, he uh, he can act uh, three times each turn, so really scary, really scary boss. So. Yeah, he can do a lot, but we're trying to hit blunts and saps. I think. It's raining up down, so probably just the up there. Okay, uh, that's level six. An interesting, that's interesting beginning. Sap, that's pretty um, nice. Well. This is already a pretty much one fight, even if Serena dies. Oh, he would space a rondo, that's oh, so bad. Wow. Oh my god. That's uh, pretty unfortunate. I still think you're good though, just those two are dead. Yeah, should be that. Uh, I can unfold Hendrik at this point. Yeah. I think, yeah. This is, because Eric got his first attack up free, I think this is okay. a good fight. Everyone should be. Should be now. fine. Sylvando steps in as the healer when your two other healers die. And he's gonna be dead when Eric goes next. Nice. I think. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Well. Really quick fight, just, just heals. throwing two two healers away. Yeah. Well. <laughs> Never respect your healers in your party. It's okay. Rob is really not important at all. If he dies, it's yeah, we don't care. Serena. 
she doesn't have to die too much because pair level matters for the final boss of uh, trending. But that's okay. If she keeps dying, yeah, this can be a problem, but one death is, is okay. So we go back again to Otto, yeah, I know. We grab the um, crossable key to enter the, the sacred forge, and then we zoom back to Otto. Right back. Yeah, <laughs> again. Why they didn't put a campsite inside the temple? <laughs> Imagine. I, I did. They should make it so you could have zoomed to the mountain at least, but you know. We just take the scenic route every time, it's all good. It's all good. That was close. That was close. Uh, I actually, pass. I was like, oh my god, how did that not hit you? <laughs> oh, and I hit this one, of and course. That one does. <laughs> yeah. Stupid hitbox. Um, yeah. It's going to take several turns to... Okay, good. So it's time We're to fall. We're going to get Sword of Light. Yeah. And um, it's time to make the Sword of Light. Then it's time to go crash Mordigan's party. Yeah. So while we forge the Sword of Light, it's to uh, destroy the barrier that protects uh, Mordigan Fortress. So it's mandatory. Whereas... It's also a really good sword. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's a pretty good weapon. Well, yes, but hero don't need that, actually. Yeah, because yeah, you use great swords. I yeah. don't use great swords. I still use um, yeah. regular swords in my route. Yeah. But we, we don't use it anyway, so... For the... For the end of Act 2. We have Eric, yeah. Hendrik, uh, Silvando, Serena, Rap. That's that's the five party member we use. So usually in the fights we we start with Silvando, Serena, Rab, Eric, and once we are in we are in a good position, like we put the sap, we are, have a good good HPs, we can swap swap out a, a healer or Hendrik to deal more damages. The next boss fight is Indenius, protecting the entrance uh, of the fortress. And he is annoying. Yeah, he has a he has a lot of damages, only physical, so we can counter that by using Blunt, which reduces his attack. Yeah, his first attack will do like. A lot of damage total, and we don't have that much health in all our party members. We're kind of at the lowest possible level on pretty much everyone. Because they came back into our party, and they just have been sitting at those levels the whole time. Okay, get the blunt. The game gives us plenty of levels. One blunt is good. I missed the sap. Well, I it. That's bad, but it's Rab, so we don't care. I'm going to sap with Serena. Um, yep, sap. Nice, very nice. Um, Omphal, Hendrik. Multi-heal. This should be a clean fight now at this point. Yeah. Um, there shouldn't be anything, but Eric just needs to... Nice block from Salvador. Okay, great. Yeah, perfect. Not good enough. Nice. Nice. Very nice. It's a shame Brad insists on napping constantly, but... Uh, well, we don't care about Rab. We, we really don't care, so... Yeah, it's fine. It is useful only to put some multi heals, saps, and for the final boss, he will only use a pet peep. That's all. <laughs> Completely useless. 
Oh, he's useful for um, Mordigan in the past fight uh, where we are. Where, yeah, he needs to hit saps but and magic barrier. Or oh, bounce, sorry. We bounce, yeah, but that's something else. And we'll talk about that later because those fights are really particular. So this is a pretty interesting dungeon overall. Everything in the dungeon, it's um, the only time where you, we have to actively dodge an encounter in the entire game. Where it's not random where this enemy is going to be in the way. And it's actually quite funny that the game basically forces you into a random encounter. Obviously we try to dodge it anyway, because you know, why would we not? But every single chest in this dungeon we can ignore. And even though some of them have incredibly strong items in them, because we can just pick them up later. Every chest we don't pick up will teleport to another spot when this dungeon is destroyed. So um, if you do play this game, never be scared about missing anything. You uh, can get anything later. Which is quite nice. Yeah. As a completionist RPG player, missing something is the um, worst it's a nightmare. thing. nightmare. The worst possible feeling. Yeah. So we just have to progress through the entire dungeon. Level by level. There are a few enemies that we are not supposed to dodge and we can actually dodge them. You will see. It's really not easy to though. Well, I should say it's really easy to, but I'm bad at the game so I don't, you know? And we all these mounts get, are easy to kill. Yeah. It's another gold rush. You have to get, you get so mounts. much experience. Oh, I forgot to yell rub. Oops. Never mind. Oh, I got the proc of the oh, uh, instant kill. kill right? Yeah. Yeah, that's the passive. I think with how much damage you have, it's instant kill anyway, to be honest. Uh, no, you don't instant kill this, but with gold rush, it kills. Okay. You need fatal slash plus gold rush to kill this guy. Nice, Eric got his 42 as well. And that's really good. You want that before Jasper, the next boss coming up, because he will give 40,000 experience. And then Eric will level up to 43, meaning he can dual wield for the final yeah. boss. Which is a lot more damage. Yeah, he's going to hold two swords, and we're going to get uh, his second sword in this dungeon, actually. This will be the Stardust Sword. So each time here there is a cutscene where we remove all the crystals that, uh, that blocks uh, because it's possible when, once we destroy the crystals to um, to go down and then take a mount to go up again like if you want if you miss something if you want to uh, go back to save or anything like that so there are, there are crystals that we destroy when arriving to uh, to each uh, levels to open the way vertically so we'll this have is a to get relaxing dungeon yeah actually relaxing yeah we are we are chilling here. It's enjoying like meant to the, be game. the final dungeon. Yeah. It's just it's just not that bad. No. Pretty cool. Just some kind of spooky music, but yeah. It's okay. And compared to playing through the arena or like running through the uh Arachtagon on the Octagonia, yeah. this is uh this is this is beautiful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's nothing to do. You can watch the sky a bit, see the lightning. I think rest. um, what is fun is doing it on all draconian because the last boss is the most difficult one for it. Yeah. 
very difficult. Very, very difficult actually to do that at a low level. But uh, the game gives you all the levels you really need in uh, any percent, and the last boss is a bit of a pushover. Second mount to get to climb the uh, climb the wall. Oh, we haven't used one of these ones yet, have we? Yeah, I haven't fought the, <laughs> the Skull Rider in the in the in the crib, so that that's the first time we use uh, this mount. Oh, yeah, and then we also skipped it in a uh, peak Eerie Irie. Yeah, because skipped we skipped there. we skipped this because we this didn't place. Go there, you know. Yeah. In this place, we are supposed to get an orb, but we didn't need to get uh, the orbs. What's an, what's an orb? I haven't heard of one of those. That's, that's crazy. Yeah, now you ask, I really wonder. Like, I'm not sure. I think it's like ball with magic. I'm not sure. No. Oh no, enemies are blocking the way. That's fine. <laughs> Just, just ran over his weapon. Uh, his flail means nothing. The greatest enemy to dodge is the dragon. So good. Oh my god. Abuse I'm so of bad. That. Oh, I, I love doing it now. I'm so consistent. <laughs> Unless I talk too much and I'm going to fail, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these uh, these dragons, their tails flying up and down, they um, they're a pain to dodge. Yeah, they can just they can turn and their tail will turn at like lightning speed and just whip you in your face and you are now in a fight. And you think you're safe, but they just randomly turn, and you have to give them so much space. Yeah. Behind this one, there is a chest, which contains the Starless Sword, which is the... Um, yeah, with this sword, you can upgrade it to uh, make the ultimate sword, but of course, we, we are not going to do that. It's completely useless. But yeah, yes, that's the second sword of Eric. I'm going to replace Dragon's Bane by that. Oh, wow. There's a bit of lag. That strength ring still going strong. Yeah. And yeah, I have to go this way now. So we... We are putting some platforms to create a path to the... to the place of uh, Mordigan. On the left way, there's a poker, useful um, in glitchless, because in glitchless, yeah, Jade has a good level. Shit. Jade has a good level and is useful for the final boss, but here she is useless, so we are not going to pick up the poker for her. Anyway, we are going to pick up the poker later on in a, in a whale station, because as uh, we said, uh, chest that you didn't get uh, in the fortress are put in a, in a, uh, in a uh, yeah just say the word and I forgot it's terrible whale station yeah that's it <laughs> I, I also forgot the word I was like oh my god <laughs> <laughs> so now we are uh, going to dodge, yeah. dodge the dragon oh, here god, blocking the dodge. way so we want to manipulate his behavior Nice. I, I don't I don't know how you did it. Now do it again. Yeah. From behind. From behind this time. So I'm going to pass. This one's much easier, I think. But not really, because you need to have the good angle and good timing. Okay. I mean, I mean, like you just walked into it and you just did it. Like that is actually so difficult to do. Sometimes the dragon doesn't appear. Sometimes it appears late. Sometimes it appears soon. Sometimes yeah. it doesn't want to turn when you're trying to make it turn. Sometimes it turns half the way and then turns back and you get whipped in the face. There's um... It's so precise. 
Yeah. It's like a horse spinning, going out of bounds, easy. No yeah. problem. Anyone watching could launch the game and give it a go if their mouse is high enough DPI. Stay alert. Let me but uh, <laughs> dodging that dragon is probably one of the hardest tricks in the game. Jasper, really annoying boss, but scripted, so if we do the good things, we are safe. Uh, sap, Jasper, not affected. I, I missed a lot of saps in, in this, uh, this run, actually. It's really bad. Oh, nice block, Serena. Oh, nice block. I have to gold rush to really kill this, uh, this ad. Dude, they're trying to kill Serena. Yeah. They, they are desperately trying. I missed again. That's really bad. And... Uh, okay. I have to... I have to gold rush. I have no choice. I need to remove this ad. Else he's going to do some bad things. Okay. Fun. Fun fight. Yeah. Uh, Serena died again. I don't like that. Well, never mind. Um, does she need the experience or is she alright? Yeah, she needs the experience, but well. It will be fight. Fine, I guess. Again? Oh my god, what the hell? I keep missing saps. Just insane. So unlucky. I have to hustle the hustle bins, I have no choice. Come on, get a sap, please. Thank you. So, we can focus Jasper and finish the boss. Okay, good. Get out. He should be dead here. Yeah. He was really, really annoying. <laughs> and Eric is level 43, which is really good. Ooh, killed the long, white-haired evil villain. Excellent film. Yeah. Never I, before has that been put in, yeah. in a game. Now I need to rectify um, Eric because he has too much points in this world, so I cannot learn dual waiting unless I remove a few points. What's nice about this guy is he full heals you as well. Yeah. Anyway, is, uh, Jasper full heal else. Yeah, I guess. When we kill Jasper, we get full, full heal. So we get your wielding. And we. Oh, you just get a million full heals, don't you? And then. Yeah, perfect. Even though you sacrifice an extra 40 attack. It's uh, the second weapon is like an extra 120 or so, so it's uh, very much worth it. And it's time for the fake final fight. <laughs> so this boss is scripted. That's the good thing. We know that he can wave on turn one, so I'm going to swap out Eric. Turn two is going to uh, uh, bring summon a shadow. Uh, I need to cab up with Serena because... Oh great, I got the sub first try, that's really good. So I'm going to cab up because I need to put some buffs to proc his wave. Okay, that's uh, yeah, good damage uh, spreading, yeah. Very nice. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that was... Uh, it's just focus one guy down, dude. Yeah. Rab and Serena just want to die this run. That They're desperately okay. trying. Yeah. That's really nice though. This is really nice right now. Yeah, I have a good setup actually, so it's it's good. So with one unbridal and one gold rush, I will kill the shadow. Yep, they have exactly 800 health, and that does about 810 usually also. It's really nice. Um, I can try to renew the sap. I have nothing to do with Serena at this turn. Nice. I did loads more because of the peps, but yeah, very nice. 
Divide again. Battle dance. I'm going to try to get the sap again because his defense is going to go back to normal at this turn. Doesn't go back to oh, normal. Didn't go back. Yeah. Okay. This is really good. Yeah. Oh, and every single one hit. Wow, he's got a really high parry chance. Yeah. So um, everything hitting is really good. Hendrix should kill if he doesn't get parried here. Thank oh. you for forging scene. <laughs> well, you know. Oh, Serena, good job. Serena got him. <laughs> nice. Very nice. That's a really good phase one. Yeah. Now I got the Mordrigan and Mordrigan's tail. Gaffrey's is good. These guys have two phases. They each have 5,500 health, I think. Or is it just 5,000? Uh, five, yeah, 5,500 health. They have. Yeah. Uh, and after doing 1,500, they swap out. And so to... what we want to do is we want to set it up so that Eric uses all of his damage just before. So we get them down to like 1,300 or so. Eric does his big hit and we kill them in one big hit after. They go to their second phase where they're both together almost instantly and we can just instantly kill one, avoid the pet power ideally. Um, and it's just really, really helpful. And this is the more important one. Tail is the more important one to kill. And the reason is because it can do zing. We do not want to kill the other head and then have it zing. That is so... <laughs> that is so incredibly sad. And I'm sure it's happened to so many people. So yeah, Silver's just going to count his damage pretty precisely here to make sure that it doesn't go over. Yeah. So I want to Magic Barrier because he reduced my magic defense here. Uh, I need, I'm going to heal because Hero is going to do too much damage if I... Well, yeah. Okay, that's what I wanted to have. Eric first, but yeah. Savondo played before, that's Eric. fine. So now he's going to be on about 1700, maybe 2000 health. Yeah. And so one more hit like that from Eric will just kill uh, in the next phase. <laughs> very, very nice. Very, very nice. So, uh, this one, we don't have to worry too much about it, but we want to prep Eric beforehand. So he comes in with Divide and Infola. Because yeah. you saw the Wave of Ice, we basically want to avoid that. Um, so we don't need to care for a nuke for this one, because when there's only one head left in the fight, it's it's easy to push over, he's easy. We out damage him, we can just mob heal every turn. It's nothing to worry about. Uh, it's when there's two left and they're doing pet powers on you, that's when you need to be concerned. So this is a really split fight so far. Just make sure everyone's healthy, make sure they're sapped going into the next fight and you um, should be good. Should be really I don't good. go for sap on Maldragon. I... That's fair enough. Yeah, just want If you've to... got nothing else to do, you can. But else is probably more important in your fight. Just need one more cold rush and we are on phase three. So we need to kill the tail really fast before they pep up. That's a good pep. Uh, yeah. I'm going to quarter slash. Should um, hmm. I should magic barrier to be safe, actually, because they use a lot of spells. Okay, gold rush. Eric, go. Eric, come on. Nice. Nice. He does this thing where he will eat someone yeah. and basically stun them. Uh, so now Rab is useless, but if we kill Rab, if we kill the boss before he spits him out, then Rab is fine. There's no poison, there's no anything, and the boss is almost dead now. But uh, that's the main reason we have Eric hidden away. Avoid the wave of ice and avoid this fight. But he should be dead to this goal. Nice. Yeah. And Rab just comes running out <laughs> of the mouth. And uh, this is, yeah, this is. Let's go. 
and it'll just be getting into the Act 3. Gold Rush, yeah. Just put all the images. Yeah. Sap, maybe. Healing is no longer important. No, no sap. It's fine. You're not gonna like this. Very nice. Hendrix should finish it soon. Oh, no, my survivor should. Oh, wait, he's not? He's dead? Hendrix. This guy's tank. Yeah. yeah. Hendrix I, I got no sap, that's why. But still. Yeah, yeah. So that's the any percent split, actually. That's a decent time for any percent, I think. It actually is pretty good. On average, at least for my PC, it's about 10 minutes of... Uh, 10 minutes? 20, I think. No, no, I'm thinking of like load times. Usually it's like... Uh, yeah, my Every P hour has 6 minutes of load times. My PB RTA of any percent is... Uh, 4... 14 or 13, yeah, I think. Yeah, mine is 1 second ahead of yours. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's true, yeah. <laughs> but we use loadless timing. Yeah. So, um, yeah, this game does not have consistent load times at all. It's it's kind of a nightmare, but we've got a load remover, thankfully. So now it's time for Act 3, the trending part, where we go back in time to save Veronica and everyone to stop Mordigan before... Um, before, um... This is the fun part. I know. I know nothing now. Let's go. Yeah. You have to explain every single little thing. Oh yeah, it's true. My buttons are, are reversed. Huh? So yeah, continue. <laughs> <laughs> That's alright. I think I know enough. If I don't say anything wrong, just say like you're wrong. <laughs> I probably will be on almost everything. So. We try to Save exit. Nice yeah, I saved. So, nice. because sometimes I do the mistake to not save, and that's terrible because uh, uh, yeah, I have to do uh, the boss again. So I lose ten. Oh yeah, yeah. I saw yeah. I saw that happen actually the other yeah. week, didn't it? Oh, that's rough. So I trigger the but cutscene. Now it's like collection time. Yeah, I trigger the cutscene to be able to zoom after collecting this elephant elixir. We're going to zoom to Octagonia. Uh, so now, um, in the story, like we celebrated the end of uh, the reign of Morligan. But we discovered uh, some ruins uh, around Octagonia that we're going to inspect. And uh, we learned that um, it's, there's a way maybe to go back in time and save people that we love. So we Everyone thinks about Veronica. And so there's a way. We have to go back in time uh, before uh, Mordragon Mord 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 steal the Sword of Light in the Yggdrasil. And so by doing that, we can stop him and uh, save the world, save Veronica, save everyone. That's the plan of Act 3. And when we... When we go back in time... So Hero is the only one to go back in time. The others are... All four characters from Act 1. Uh, so I have to use the flute. Um, so, yeah. The levels of our party members depends on what level they had when we gave the orbs in Arboria to the priests priest before going to Yggdrasil. But if you remember, we didn't give any orb to the priest, so uh, the game doesn't know our levels at the end of at the end of Act One. So basically, uh, all party members will be back to level one. Which is really, really bad because we will have to fight, <laughs> uh, you know, Jasper who attacked us and uh, was uh, protected by uh, his, um, his, uh, yeah, his, uh, he has a barrier, a dark barrier. So we, we got the Sword of Shadows from the, the Lord of Shadow, Ordegan. And uh, this sword uh, removes the barrier of Jasper, so that's how we are going to defeat him for real. 
But yeah, only hero is going to be useful because the rest of the party member are level 1. So one will be completely useless and will get one shot by Jasper. <laughs> it's actually really funny because usually it's like you casually you're going to this fight, everyone's level 25 to 30 yeah. or so. They're pretty strong, they can withstand one or two hits. Uh, in the speedrun, we barely, we like, do take two fights to level a little bit just so they don't all instantly die when they're defending. <laughs> it's it's uh, definitely on hard. So, so this is a tower really of funny time. Thing to see the first time. I like the background of the tower of time. Yeah, I like the aesthetics of this town as well, power as well. I wish it was kind of bigger, like there was more to it than just this, but... Yeah. It's made to build atmosphere, I guess. God, then we've got the Tockles all sitting at the top. This is where they were all walking to. Yeah. God, it speaks. It's a ghost. <laughs> so nobody wants uh, us to go back in time, so we have to talk to everyone to convince them without talking. Yeah, uh, so we, we have... go back in time, we kind of we leave this reality and go to a different one. It's uh... yeah, we leave them. Yeah. They stay so in they, the future. Yeah, they don't have us anymore. They lose Veronica and like the luminary. This time, I don't need to save. <laughs> time traveler, let's go. Yeah. Oh wait, we weren't here before. How are we time traveling somewhere we didn't go? Yeah. How'd that happen? So I'm going to equip everyone because, of course, they don't have equipment since the game has no information about my party member so they have nothing really nothing so hero yeah, is going to equip agility. everyone is so weak uh, you never see any of these characters at level one by the way because yeah. you get like rab and jade come into your party in the 20s eric comes at level five uh savando at 15 none of them are ever this week so the fact that the game has them with stats below their starting stats is ready weird to be honest but it's not only the stats that are also below it's also the uh there's abilities so you obviously come with Rab and he already knows multi-heal but he doesn't actually learn multi-heal until a specific level so it's uh kind of strange yeah but we're only looking for one ability right now really uh, a few levels and the bounce, I believe. So I'm going just to fight one enemy. <laughs> one drop. Use Crowder Slash to one shot them. And watch the level ups. And thank god you go first as well, because they just they do one shot everyone. They're level one here. And here you are learning all these abilities that you already knew when you started the game. And I got hero 37, which is really good. I have more strength for the boss fight. And yeah, we have to climb again the first forest. Well, climb, just head to the top of the first forest to reach Eldrazil. Yeah, With this the is orbs. when we were clipping back into bounds, of course. This time we have the, the, the orbs in our inventory, like the game gave us uh, the orbs, even if we never That's collected them. Of... Yeah, so cool. Thank you, game. <laughs> That's beautiful. Yeah, they, they, the game could have given some levels to my party member, I mean, if the game was really kind. <laughs> imagine yeah. imagine if it did the opposite and it gave everyone level 99. <laughs> imagine. <laughs> that would have been so fun. Just max it out. Yeah. Secret exploits. <laughs> I still think it's weird how it doesn't give you the skills. I can understand the levels, but the stats and the skills I don't get. The fact that like they have 
17 health, but they never actually have it in the game. Yeah. It's, uh, I, I don't know. It's already surprising it's... that the game doesn't crash when looking for the oh, yeah, every time. of uh, of our party members. Like, the game is looking for information and, yeah, decides to give it's not there, yeah. level 1 party members without any equipment and items. But doesn't crash, which is, which is good. But we can do the trending. Else it would mean that we would have to do the trending uh, glitchless. Without the... Or skip. Almost glitchless. There'd be some things you could glitch, I guess. Yeah, the... Because um, in a console run, yeah. you can still use like exploits like going 2D, 3D and getting items you didn't collect. Yeah. We um, can skip... Uh, but we can even skip we one don't orb. Glitches. Well, two... No, three orbs. Actually, we can skip three orbs in uh, console runs. Skip the Irie, the Nautilus one, and the one in the storeroom. So those three. Uh, uh, at uh, also um, Nautica, like we, we don't need to. Ah oh, yeah, not yeah yeah. To go to talk to the queen, to get the orb, we just switch to 2D and then 3D after beating Crystalinda, and uh, yeah, the game is going to. To give us the, the orbs yeah, it just assumes get. you've already done those things, yeah. even though you haven't. Which is quite nice. But in glitchless category, we don't allow people to get items they haven't actually collected by changing from 2D to 3D. What's going to happen now though now we know the hero now knows what's going to happen yeah. this is where everything is different and we have the weapon to stop jasper the sword of shadows so that's really good because uh, the sword of shadows is a, is a great sword so you can uh, stay on a great sword build with the skill points i don't need to rectify hero or whatever and great sword deals a lot of damages so hero can sort of win the fight and that's why that's what he's going to do. Your journey ends here. So, Salvando to Oomph. And Rydal. <laughs> Level 9 Salvando holding a Dragon's Bane. It's just. Uh, <laughs> 12 Level images. 9 Eric holding the Stardust Sword. Sad didn't work. <laughs> That's really unfortunate. Oh my god. Uh, Does he usually attack hero? Yeah, well, Sylvando has a, only 10% chance to be attacked. I really wanted to have oh, he's uh, yeah. a second oomph. That's really sad. Uh, Okay, I guess we are fine. That was, ooh, that was almost. That was scary. You could have killed Hero. That was scary. <laughs> I, I had no choice. Oh, now, oh, perfect. Level 14. Now you get bounce with the rub as well. Exactly. I can get the real Sword of Light. Nice. And no, we. So Mordigan attacked, but we spotted him. Yeah. Well, but Mordigan didn't attack, sorry. Uh, Mordigan stayed in the shadows because we prevented Jasper's attack. Yeah. He acted. No one knows but us. He's still there. Yeah, Hero knows, but will act like he doesn't know. Like, he, he's really stupid. Like, uh, the king is going to steal, well, at least try to steal the, the Sword of Light when Hero will be sleeping in the castle because we have been invited by the king to stay for the night and to have a, a first and uh, yeah the hero is really stupid I don't know why he he didn't doubt of that but yeah the king couldn't uh, steal the sword of light because someone someone else uh, did the time travel with us the little dark toko if you remember he time traveled with us and uh, yeah he wants to have his revenge too because uh, 
Mordigan actually destroyed his uh, his body. That was in. Uh, yeah, Mordigan destroyed the Erdrix Lantern. Yeah. Which uh, is actually a prison, believe it or not. Yeah. And Tocker was trying to break into it. Exactly. And now we are uh, in this reality. It hasn't been destroyed yet. Yeah. So. Um, so in with that like would be time. interesting to see what that turns into. Yeah. So quick equipment. I'm putting the gun thing. Uh, mighty armlet, dragon scale, um, silver on the the one steel. No, um, wrong. Agility ring and Rab is getting the old steel. And uh, I'm fine. It's dead. How scary is this fight coming up? I remember when this category was first getting routed. It was like yeah, it's very scary. Difficult. I have to. To get a safety save, so I'm going to enter. Well, I'm going to leave and re-enter the the castle to make an an auto save because this fight is pretty scary. On my zeros before yesterday, I just died three times in a row on this fight because <laughs> I like Silvando kept getting killed turn one, and when it, when it wasn't Silvando dying turn one, it was Rap, so I couldn't punch Barnes or Oomph. It was always a disaster. So we'll fight Mordigan in the, well, human, well, not really human, but yeah, more human in form than he was. So yeah, we're looking for the saps, we're looking for the bounce, and we're looking for the oops, and here is going to do all the damage. And that's one of our saps dead. Yeah. Just like that. <laughs> uh, this bounce. fight has a really nice mechanic that we're trying to end beforehand, but it's basically all healing gets reversed. So we kind of don't uh, don't want that. We want Hendrik to tank everything. He can still cast Forbearance. He's not in our party right now, he's another NPC helping us. Him to mid heal before the Misty spot. I want to nice. be Double as good. high HP as possible. I have the double oomph, so I'm I'm fine. I should be fine. Yeah, you could. Rob's going to die of the spells, I think. Uh, so bounce reflects the the spells, the spells cast by Mordigan and his uh, staves. And when a staff assesses the situation, it means that it was going to cast a spell uh, on a bounce uh, on a on a bounced uh, uh, ally. So uh, instead of they're too smart, they don't just suicide. Yeah, they don't well. want to suicide, so they assess the situation inst instead. Nice crit. Uh, can you die soon? You should be almost dead. Good. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. A bit scary. Very nice. That's so, I mean, your party was entirely dead and you're like one hit away from death. Yeah. And he just waved advice to you, so two frizzles would kill you there. It's, yeah. uh, it's a very tight fight. Exactly. So now, Maldigan is defeated, no one died, everything is fine, right? Actually not. Because Kalasmos, Massive, uh, the massive star. Yeah, Kalasmos. lantern falling down again. Yeah, and this time Mordigan cannon cannot stop him. Kalasmos, reborn, rebirth, and, and that's the true villain of the game. The dark spawn. And this is uh, the final fight that Erdrich, the original Luminary, did as well. Yeah. Which is why it's called Erdrich's Lantern. Yeah. But he actually didn't kill the, the Cosmos. He, he just didn't put him in a... The lore goes so deep. 
Yeah. Oh my lord. Going to put some Macros Mittens here. So now uh, we have a lot of cutscenes to to go through before being able to fight the, the boss. But there's only one boss fight remaining. No. But there's a lot of setup for him because yeah. uh, he is really difficult. Like, that's because you uh, you prepped this fight and basically made it like an auto fight and uh, using a very precise setup. Yeah. Because normally this fight is done at level. 70? Yeah, around 70. Yeah, I think so. Which, yeah, at so, least level 65. Yeah, so, and we are still level 40. So we are going to get back, uh, get back all levels from Act 2. But yeah, that's truly not enough. So yeah, we need a bit of preparation and some precise strats. And you can hear the beautiful music of Act 3. Whoa! Oh my god. <laughs> oh, oh, it's just a massive dragon now. They're roaming yeah. the land. Glowing green eyes in all these enemies as well. Wow, I wonder why. So the rise of uh, the original villain is now um, causing the monsters to go even more insane than when Mordigan was ruling the land. So now they've got green glowing eyes, or they're just new enemies everywhere. Yeah. It's basically a whole new world again. So you had the first world, very simple, basic world. Then you've got the second world, where it's post... Uh, Mordigan destruction, new differences, new places to go, and then you've got this third world, this time skip, and it's just, uh, it's a completely new thing to discover as well. It's um, supposedly the post game, but it's honestly one third of the game completely, if not more. It's, uh. Yeah, post game is huge, but uh, all, like, nearly all the stuff is optional. That's why you are going to just fight Kalasmos and that's all. Like the, the rest is just we have some mandatory cutscenes to trigger preparation to do and yeah, else that's that's the trending. Like we don't have a, a lot of things to do. But if you want to do everything in the post game, you can like spend thirty yeah, thirty, even forty hours I think. Because yeah, there's a lot if of. If you throw in Tickington as well, probably up to sixty. Like. Yeah, sixty or seventy if you do Tickington also. Yeah, the post game is really. Now rich. we've got this, this whole place. This whole yeah. place is back, but this wasn't here before. We only had the one island in the middle. Yeah. Now we've got all the islands. We have everything now. And we are going to meet. Uh, all the watchers that are going to explain us what's going on but they actually actually don't know so they told they tell us to just go uh, around the world to see some uh, some siblings to have some visions so in the chest uh, I, I had some chest behind me just before zooming uh, there was a, um, a costume for Veronica, one for Serena. They are good, but not not enough good to pick them. Like I prefer to buy a queen's robe; it's much better. And I yeah. thought they were good enough. That's fair enough. And you don't oh. need the ultimate key, which is the third chest. Yeah, ultimate key is useless. We are not going to open any door. We don't get the magic key. We don't get the ultimate key. Yeah. Imagine a Dragon Quest game where you pick up no keys. That's Imagine. unheard of. Unbelievable. So now we're finding out the truth from more seedlings. Yeah. Beautiful. How did the uh, how did the heroes fight this next boss? We've seen how they forged the Sword of Light, but how did they fight? Why did they forge it? Yeah, because we are not going to forge any Sword of Light. We already have one, so. Yeah, that's enough. We don't need uh, any other sword of light. So we have three seedlings to inspect. And then uh, we are going to do a few quests. There are two. Do you do all the quests in 2D? Or do you stay in 3D for them? Uh, there's for the pep pop quests, we stay in 3D because it's faster. And for the um, the pep pip uh, pep pip uh, 
quests we are into this. Uh, Peppy Pemper Pops are items, really rare, that uh, can put instantly uh, someone in the pep power. So, um, Pep Pips is for only one character and Pep Pop is for the entire team. So there's a quest that gives us uh, one Pep Pop and another quest that gives us four Pep Pips. Yeah, these items are like the true endgame consumables. Uh, Pep is now busted. Yeah. Um, it was already really strong, but now it's like there's a Pep Power that makes your entire party invincible. Like, you take zero damage from anything, um, which is insane. I don't think we use that one. No, we only use ones that do damage. Yeah. Uh, we need damages for the final boss. Yeah. And we're going to be doing the final boss in 2D mode because uh, we're going to be abusing peps and peps work the best in 2D. So, because we can easily, what's the word, I guess, sequence it in the fight. Yeah. So you know that the pep is always going to go first, whereas yeah. if we do it in 3D, you don't know. Exactly. That's why we're going to do uh, the end of the run in 2D. And also, Klasmos, the final boss, is a little bit weaker in uh, 2D, I believe. Not really, no. Yeah. I thought it had a slight health. Oh, uh, no, okay, maybe. But not much. I'm not sure. Yeah. So more cutscenes, more cutscenes. We are close to the end of the cutscenes. And soon we will start the preparations for the final boss. Well, this is when we see how Morgan backstabbed his friend Edwin yeah. or Edric. I forget which one it's called. Morgan, uh, Morgan stabbed. Uh, I think it it's Edric, so yeah. And we discover that the seer is also Morgan. Morgan, so uh, oh my Morgan God. is uh, split into two uh, entities. Um, Oh uh, yes, are... the seer, that character, we didn't just skip over completely because we bypassed yeah. their entire... Yeah, <laughs> their yeah entire completely yeah. bypassed yeah. Uh, all the cutscenes with the, with the seer, so we... Well, you should wonder who's the seer, but yeah, that's someone who's supposed to help us in the, in the story, give us hints about uh, our mission. I think he gives the hero back his more his luminary powers when he loses them after the um he doesn't, after they get taken at the world tree. He doesn't give it back, but he gives a like yeah um, some kind of a yeah a yeah. hint I guess yeah well, how to do it yeah okay. fair enough. So now I'm going to zoom to downtown to do a little quest. Uh, pep pop quest. Those quests are really, really, really short. Like some quests require us to defeat a specific monster, to do specific attacks, do just some pep power or something like that. Here we just have to pick up uh, an item at a specific place and give it back to the NPC, and that's all. So this uh, old lady asks us to go to the. Um, First forest to get uh, some divine dew, and we have the oh, zoom perfect. point. We zoom right there. Yeah, and she just she just looks at us fly off like, oh, why does this guy have yeah. a zoom point to the first forest? <laughs> I wonder. <laughs> Here is the divine dew. What luck! Very nice. These quests are so quick when you know where to go. Yeah. When you don't know, it can take uh, hours. <laughs> I think I did the entirety of the game without a walkthrough, except for one of the tockles. <laughs> and it was just such a pain. I had to look something up for it. I can I, it said to go somewhere where there's a king or a prince or something. I didn't know where to go. And I went everywhere. I was pulling my hair out. And if you see me, I don't have much hair left. Oh, 
Mistress Pet, beautiful. Pet pop done. So now we need to go to the uh, Tower of Time again. We are going to uh, to meet once again Serenica because yeah, the the huge toggle that uh, gave us the opportunity to go back in time is actually Serenica, the wife of uh, Erwin. She become the the keeper of time. Uh, by trying to go back in time because Morkan killed uh, Erdwin, so she was so uh, depressed that she tried to to go back in time to save him. That's since she's not the luminary, she couldn't use the power of the Sword of Light because yes, the Sword of Light we had in Act Two has been destroyed when we went back to when we went back in time. And the luminary was the only one who could who could go back in time, so that's why the other party members were not coming with us. But yeah, the one uh, watcher of Evans above uh, gave us back all levels, so now we are we are level 40, like at the end of uh, Act Two, and we are not going to level up. We just need to collect a few items to fight the final boss. I mean, it's insane. Like, this is uh, this is the reason why I don't actually do True End, is because if it was a final boss that was like fun, there's some thought to it, great. But this is just a set, a set passing because you routed it perfectly. And it's just, I don't know. It's just insane, actually, how you routed it so well. Yeah, it's the strat. Like doing it just... the low... the strat Almost the lowest possible level, I think, yeah. actually. Yeah, we don't grind a single level between Mordigan and Kalasmos. That's that's just insane. I just I mean, we, we don't grind a single level from like from Act One. Yeah, if we get level twenty-five with Hero. That's it. We're done. Yeah, we just cool. use boss levels, and that's it. Yeah, it's just it's unreal. If you for me the first time I fought this boss, I didn't realize about the power of using the sword. So I was level 99 doing it without the sword. The boss is kind of not free even at level 99 using the sword that halves his power and halves his damage. So the fact that even with this thing we're level 37 and we're gonna go fight this guy. It's on... it's actually unreal. It's on yeah, it's, it's insane. insane. Being in the low 40s doing this. I'm, I'm amazed even after running it uh... Many times I'm still amazed, like, wow, how is that possible? Like, we are 30 most levels can't do, behind. Yeah, most people can't even do Mordigan at this point. Yeah. So now I have to uh, put all the skill points on my character. It's going to take a while, I need to focus. So, um, Hero is going to learn Bigger Smash, Pep uh, Chance. Zap, deafness, uh, and this is prepping every single thing. Unfortunately, and there's going to be a lot of skill points because we just went from level one to level forty. What? Uh, I should not have the strength. I think I'm too low level to have the additional strength. I need to rectify that. My bad. That's okay. You don't need it. They do. Just helps to have a, a bit of additional damages, but since. Serena was the only to die during Act 2, it's fine. So, um... Bad chance. Yes, we learn Pep up. Veronica is going to learn some MP, increasing moves. Uh, we found a new Pep up power called uh, Mighty Magic Burst. You know anything about Magic Burst in this series? It does damage based on your maximum MP. This pet power does it between Serena and Veronica. So instead of increasing their magical might, we increase their maximum mana. And uh, you use that. It's uh, way better. And because of all that, you get to manipulate the pet powers even more beautifully. It's just an incredible fight. It just is a perfect route fight for the final boss. It's insane that it's possible.
Uh, Rob doesn't learn anything. He's useless. Jay <laughs> uh, not close. Spears turn of trust. Attack plus ten. Um, deliverance. Maximum HP, strength, agility, strength, agility, maximum HP. And after this surprise, I also learn uh, crushed ice. And yeah, critical hit. Right, why not? Because we have the points, so let's give F a chance to have some crits. Eric is not going to have dual wielding. It's not worth it. It's better to have more attack on a single weapon because the boss has a lot of defense. That's pretty um, interesting. Yeah, that's it. And Hendrik is learning uh, attack plus 20, uh, block and spill strength and resilience and uh, I'm good I think yeah so now I want to zoom to Arborea I'm doing, going to get a second Elfin Elixir the same I picked in 3D it. yeah yep it's actually possible to just keep going 2D 3D and picking up this one elixir over and over and over yeah as well. And Elfin Elixirs are incredibly strong items, especially when you're using them in conjunction with Pet Pops and Mighty Magic Burst. It is a really good way to kill these bosses in this act, yeah. if you're struggling with it. Uh, no, I'm going to uh, Calopolis to engage uh, the quest with Prince Faris. He wants us to find a tree, a specific tree, and if we find it and giving back a pepper tree, he's going to give us some pep pips that we really need to have for the final boss. So we zoom to Tundrazal Runes, uh, this, and we use the flute to reach a specific place. Uh, Calum's foot. So in 2D mode, we can land anywhere on the map with the with the whale. That's that's the good thing. In 3D, we must be uh, we must land on the on the whale sta whale stations. Yep. So hey, we're just grasser. collecting. Everything. Oh, meteor. Poker. This is every item we didn't collect in the final dungeon before the Citadel of Darkness. Yeah. Paper um, branch. No, and I'm it's conveniently to... right next to the quest branch for Prince Varus, actually. Yeah, that's all. So I'm going to engage a fight, not to grind levels, but to stack pep. Uh, so line up Hero, Drake, Serena, Rab. Tactics. Oh, full orders, okay. And here is going to use pep up to instant pep. Uh, so long doing. So we, so we just need to defend and pep will proc really fast. Is this when you prep Saint Song as well? Yeah, also I'm going to set up, uh, use a pep power in this fight to activate Saint Song. Like we do, uh, the pep power is called Saint Ascension, and it makes uh, Serena able to use uh, Saint Song once, uh, only once, when she wants. Um, Veronica. Saint Song is busted. It's yeah. like a very big heal and it removes all status effects. There's one turn the next boss is going to do that stacks status effects on everyone. It's brutal. Just um, don't kill Sylvando, please. They want to kill Sylvando so badly. Yeah.
Rab needs to pep pep, please. Good. So I bring Hero and uh, Serena. Pep power, Serena, Saint Ascension. Uh, we can remove Rab, that's the only one that doesn't need to be pepped up. Uh, multi heal, pep up. Going to bring uh, Enric instead of. Oh, she's using to lose Pep. That's that's okay actually. I can I yeah, can just repep up. It's repep, yeah, with Pep. Uh, don't kill Veronica, please. That was scary. Uh, okay, so Pearly Gates uh, attack, Pep up, and attack. I don't think Pearly Gates kills. Yeah, it doesn't kill. Um, I can just flee actually, it's faster. So now I have everyone pepped up. I want okay. to go back to Galopolis and the quest, uh, buy equipments also, and rest at the inn. So, first, I'm buying uh, Papillon Mask, uh, three of them. Uh, one goes on Salvando. And these are all items to just reduce the status effects mostly on. Uh, I want to sell uh, one weird thing. Where is it? So Pretty I... sure. Oh, equipment. Are you... yeah. Weird thing. Sell it. And uh, we buy two King's Quotes. And. Uh, King's Code goes for Hero. And I'm a bit short for Queen's Robe, actually. I should... That's probably something else you can sell. Well, I should... I could just get the... The... Like, go back to Heaven's Above and get the... The good armors from... For Veronica and Serena, actually. Should have done that because I haven't, yeah, I haven't calculated my money. Uh, but <laughs> I don't know the way in 3D, in 2D actually. I think it's this way. <laughs> I'm not even sure. <laughs> I've never been here in 2D. I've never actually played this game through in 2D. Yeah. Okay. The chest are here. Good girl costume and the village costume. Okay. Zoom back to Galopolis. Yeah, that was a mistake from my, from me. It's okay. That's alright. So I slept at the inn. I need to end the quest and then I'm going to do the final menu. Final, final menu, menu. Before, before the final fight. So huge menu. Equipment. Rab gets Skein. Brenda's uh, uh, Master Garment. Concrete Earrings. Um, yep. Serena. English costume. Um, Babylon Mask. Uh, Marcus Mittens. Hero gets Sparsal of Light, Shield of Heliodor, King's Coat, and Angel, yes, that's fine. Um, Dema Charm, uh, Strength Ring, where is it? Uh, where is it? Here, okay. And Drake gets uh, Token, Wyrm Feng, no, that's on Miss Bane, Wyrm Feng, here, Li Liquid Metal Helm. Eric gets Stardust Sworn, Corsair Cap, King's Coat, uh, Mighty Armlet, Dragon Scale, 
Veronica gets good girl costume. And uh, that's it. She gets happy hat. Salvando. Uh, Salvando Sword. Mardi Gras. And that's all. And Jade gets poker. Flowering dress. And set. Yep. Metal Brasser and Agility Ring. She's low level, so she needs to have a lot of spin. Because she's going to be really important during the fight. Uh, so I need to empty everyone now. So I'm going to yeah, remove that. Uh, who doesn't have. Oh, yeah, I'm done. Uh, Veronica needs to get. No, it's Rab. Yeah, Rab. Rab, where are you? Rab gets uh, Papillon Mask. That's it. Uh, so. Jade, remove that. Then Pep Pip goes to. Uh, Hendrik. Goes to Jade. And goes to Salvando. Um, Elf and Alexia, one for Serena, one for Veronica. Pep Pop goes for Hendrik, and Big Drizzle Dew goes for Jade. And it's time. Uh, we call the whale and let's go. let's go. It's time for the final boss. So, we have to follow a specific script to, um, to win. Um, two turns are really crucial. Uh, turn two, if he hits twice the same target, he one shots anyone, so we lose. If he put the mist that confuse or paralyze or anything, uh, the party it's lost also. On turn 3 he always put the mist, but we have Serena who can cure everyone, so as long as Serena is not uh, affected by paralysis, well she's immune to paralysis thanks to the Papillon mask, uh, mask we bought, but she can get confused and cursed also. So, line up Silvando, Jade, Hero, Eric, Pep Power, uh, uh, so, Salvando fight fantastic, Jade, Pep Pip, Hero, Hero is using Super Soul of Light and Eric Divide. We use the Super Soul of Light which is also uh, as a priority, which is really good, so the boss cannot one-shot us before we act. So now the because boss he is weaker. Will one -shot you without using that. Yeah. He does like 800 damage per hit. Yeah. If you don't use that thing. Yeah. Okay. And we still go really low. You can see how close is it. We bring Hendrik in. Pep Power, Hero, Give Burst. Hendrik, uh, Pep Pop. Jade, Igdrizzle Dew. Eric, Fatal Slash. We need Jade to go first. We need to not get status affected. That's bad. Uh, that's really bad. Let's see what they have, but it might be really bad. Okay, yeah, it's lost. So I, I have no choice. I have to like alt, alt at four to <laughs> reset the game. That's the, that's <laughs> the only choice. So yeah, it's a really specific script here. He used the mist on turn two. There's nothing I can do. I have to to reset. This is a really really hard fight. Like we are like thirty levels behind the recommended. So <laughs> it's just absurd. Oops. It is. Uh, it is insane. Yeah. Uh, yep. Fortunately enough, auto save is uh, right there where we left off. So uh, that's fine. Yeah, we got another save. Uh, that's kind of standard. 
it's very standard to lose yeah. uh, against this guy and then reset and go again. It's like... Doing him first try is really good, isn't it? Yeah. It's like, I would say, 40-50% of chance to, to get him to, to win the fight, so yeah. And so by the way, the end, uh, the end timing of the run is when we put the final hits. So yeah. So in 2D we cannot skip cutscenes, that's why we don't do the run in 2D. So Solvando, Jade, Hero, Eric, Pet Power, Fight Fantastic, Pet Pip, Hero, Super Full of Light, Divide. Once again. So pretty long animation. Our fates already see what is pretty good, we can just uh just reset. It's pretty easy, isn't it? Yeah. So Hendrik in, Pet Power Hero Giga Burst. Hendrik uh Pet Pop Jade Igdozel Du and Fatal Slash Kalasmos. Okay. Okay. Nice. He didn't play, okay. Okay. Okay, Andrew oh. survive, oh my god! Oh my god, 2 HP! Okay, Pep Power, Veneka, Mighty Magic Burst. Rab uh, is going to D for all. Serena use her Saint Song. And Solvando sobering slap Serena in case she get confused. If she get a sleep, a sleep, it's uh, it's lost. I have to reset again. Let's see what the mist does. Serena is infected. It's normally it's one like should be fine. Yeah, she cast the same song. So line up. Pep Power, Hero, Giga Burst, Hendrik, use a Pep Pip on Eric. Um, Jade using Crushed Ice, Eric Divide. So he's going to summon a huge a sun that is going to explode, explode in two turns. So we have one free turn where we are going to set up uh, Veronica and Serena. So restore her MPs. Pep Pip Serena. Elfin Elixir Serena. Pep Pip Veronica. Elfin Elixir Veronica. And we have to win next turn, else he's just going to throw the sun and one shot us. So lineup is going to be Serena, Veronica, Jade, Eric. Serena defends. Uh, Pep Power, Veronica, Mighty Magic Burst, defend, Crushed Ice and Fatal Slash. Be ready for the time. Also my fingers. So we destroyed the Ball of Flame with the Pep Power, so he takes damages. And time! Nice. That's it. Pretty nice run, unless the if we forgot the the trolley corals and and Jasper, the rest of the run and is the first time. It's not bad. No, this is pretty solid actually. Yeah, I'm pretty happy about this run. I wanted to do a sub uh, five thirty. I did it, so I'm, I'm fine with that. Nice. So yeah, that's the end of the run, trending category where we kill Cosmos, the true final boss. Uh, so thanks Dawi, thanks a lot for your commentary. I didn't want to leave you for six hours by yourself, man. Yeah. That's rough. 
thank you. <laughs> yeah, thanks a lot. You did, uh, you did great. Uh, thanks ESA for accepting my run. I'm so happy to run Dragon Quest XI for ESA. Thanks uh, everyone for watching. Online and on site. Thanks a lot. And uh, yeah, so that's the... Well, I have a few things to do if I want to trigger the final cutscene, so I think we're going to cut here, I guess, because it takes a bit of time. So thanks for watching everyone, and uh, yeah, see you maybe next time for another DQ run. <laughs>